We need to hit the road if we're gonna beat the traffic. All right. All right. What? What? Uh-uh. Maybe we'll just beat the traffic tomorrow? You guys did great with this place. And it was easy to buy with all the help we got from Navy Federal Credit Union. I can't imagine where we'd be without them. So what's shaking? Nothing. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. As the dog days of summer wind down, it's been the one thing on our minds. All of the college football world has been waiting for this moment. It's back. The wait is over. College football is here. TCU takes the field for the first time since their magical playoff run. Colorado gets set for the most anticipated coaching debut in memory. It's time! It's time! It's time! It's time. Coach Prime next right here on Big Noon Kickoff. That guy knows how to voice over a tease. Our special thanks to James Hetfield Metallica's new album, 72 Seasons. It is out right now, and you can see the band live on the M72 World Tour. Delivery to kickoff, sponsored by Wendy's for a burger that delivers transfer to Wendy's. The biggest story in college football, Coach Prime at Colorado. For more, we send it down to the field in our Aaron Andrews. And Rob, I love what Urban Meyer just said about Deion Sanders. There's nothing normal about this, but are we shocked? The hype, the headlines, the swagger, that's what we all loved about Deion when he was playing in the NFL and Major League Baseball, and now we're watching him pass it on to his players as a head coach. We are, what, about eight minutes away from kickoff, and I asked Dion, what's the vibe for this CU team as you get ready to take on this season? And he said, it's the same as it was in December. We aren't afraid, we aren't concerned, we coming. I look out there and I can't believe it. Like, it's still breathtaking and it's still like, wow. I know you can 28th coach in Colorado history, Coach Prime. I know you can This is all us. This is our house. We're at the base of the Rocky Mountains here. There is a buzz around this campus. Merchandise sales through the roof. Spring game sells out in just minutes. The Coach Prime effect. Do you believe me? When did it become the goal to be the head coach of a program like this? Yeah, I've been coaching for well over 20 years now. Just, you know, the world is just getting to know Coach Prime. In the I'm a little different from most coach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because my hand is on everything. I love it. The uniforms we wear, from the cleats we wear, from how we go out there, how we look, everything. Because, oh, this is a business. This is a darn business. Who ready? Well, give me my darn theme music, dear DJ. Prime time and Mountain Standard He's going in. His guy is the magnet. I just want you to know. I'm coming. I'm looking for enemies. Who in there? 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 Who did you know that We Coming was going to look like this? I mean, when you talk about it, too, like 57 players leaving after spring. I mean, is this let what... Let me clarify that. Please. Oh, I love let me, it. Let me clarify Go. that. Let me make a big deal out of that. I know. Um, we probably had conversations with maybe 20. Conversations like, you know, this ain't it. This ain't going to work. The rest of them quit. We got a few positions already taken care of because I'm bringing my luggage with me. And it's Louis. They jumped in the portal, they dipped, they left. I can't control that. Jackson State back-to-back -back SWAC champion. You've just created excitement everywhere you go. Everywhere he's gone, he's made it better. He is one of one. Jackson State, you go 27 and six, back-to-back -back conference championships. Attendance goes through the roof. What are you most proud of, of what you were able to accomplish there? We brought the light. We hit the switch. Everything was dark. It was gloomy. These guys deserve it. Give them some shine, man. 
Now it's, it's on everyone else to keep the light on. How do you turn on the light here? We did it. It came with us. I'll leave you with this. Colorado used to be a powerhouse yeah. back in the day. Yeah. Do you believe you can bring him back? Do I believe? I know. But it's just another level. I can't wait to get there. Like, I can't wait to that moment because I know what we coming with. Baby, you best believe it's a new day. Well, they don't believe, and that's just what we want. We couldn't have written this thing any better. This, this is going to be a movie one day. We are coming. Well, we come in, and here they are. Colorado right behind me, guys. You heard Dion say it. He's got his hands on everything. The unis, the cleats, and you know it. I love this. Mark Ingram, you'll love this, too. Dion telling GQ this. I don't follow trends. I sent him. Wow. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, That's sir. EA, okay. He's convincing, man. He He's is. convincing. He makes you believe. Premium prime time. And there he is, making his way onto the field. They are heavy underdogs today, heading against a TCU team that made it all the way to the national championship game last year. Can they repeat? Can they continue to build on what they created here in Fort Worth last season? Prime's ready. I wonder what that first play call is going to be. TCU Colorado to start things off here on Labor Day weekend for the call. We send it upstairs, Joel Kratt and Gus Johnson. Big Noon Saturday is sponsored by AT&T Business. Next Level Moments need the Next Level Network. And welcome to Fort Worth, folks. This is the one the college football world has been waiting for as Colorado, led by Coach Prime, comes into town to take on 17th-ranked TCU. Hi, everybody. I'm Gus Johnson, along with my quarterback, Joel Klatt. And welcome to Fort Worth, Texas, folks. He's an American icon. Deion Sanders spent three years at Jackson State, where he won almost everything you could win at the black college level. Now he takes a quantum leap into major college football at Colorado in the Pac-12 for at least this year. He brings his son along with him as the quarterback. And oh, by the way, he's taken on a team that last year played in the national championship game. Oh my goodness. I, th this is something that we have never seen before in college football. This experiment at Colorado. Coach Prime changing over the roster. 90 new players. This, this is completely unprecedented. I am as excited as you at home to see what this looks like because none of us have any idea we're all going to find out together. Now, one of the things that I do expect is their quarterback to play well. Why? Because Shador Sanders has played well now everywhere that he's been. He is a very smart quarterback. He's accurate with his arm. And this game plan offensively is going to go through him and the playmakers on the outside, namely Travis Hunter. This is one of the most dynamic college football players we have in the country. Now, on the other side, TCU. That forgotten team you were talking about, Gus? Well, how about Chandler Morris, the forgotten quarterback? He was the starter opening day a year ago, and he desperately wants to prove that not only he belongs on the field, but that last year was not a fluke for this TCU team. This team has a chip on their shoulder. He epitomizes that chip on their shoulder. And as he goes, so they will go, because this is going to be a team with a new offensive coordinator and a new quarterback that's going to put the ball up in the air early and often with a really good core of wide receivers. So as we go, Jenny Taft goes. There it's you time go. to That's join right. the third member of our team on the sideline. Let's go to the All-American Girl. 
Gus, Joel, we know this by now. Coach Prime is must-watch TV. The hype videos, the attention surrounding Colorado, it is at an all-time high. But you know who's just a little bit sick about hearing about Colorado? TCU. That's exactly what I asked Sonny Dykes yesterday, and he said, I'd be lying if I told you. We have not been a little bit annoyed by all the attention surrounding the Buffs, but at the same time, this is exactly where we want to be at TCU. Quietly prepared to go out and show everyone that getting all the way to the national championship was no fluke. Now, I also asked TCU quarterback Josh Newton about the hype surrounding Colorado. He said Coach Prime is a legendary coach. He was a legendary player, but we are not going out to play against Deion Sanders. Uh, no talking has ever won a game. All right, thank you very much, Jen. TCU favored by 20 points in this game, and a look at the weather. I'll tell you what, folks, it feels like an Arctic breeze is blown through Fort Worth, Texas. Only 87. It's been in triple digits most of the month of August here in the Lone Star State. Coach Prime, first game at Colorado. Change the roster. Bunch of new guys. Bunch of new transfers. What do you think, Joel? What does he have to offer in game number one of his tenure here with the Buffs? First of all, excitement, and then the unknown. You see him hugging Travis Hunter there. He believes in his skill position players on both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively. And this is a man that deep down in his bones believes that he will turn this thing around at Colorado and put them on an elite level in college football. Where are they trying to go? Where exactly TCU went a year ago, getting to the pinnacle of the college football world. Sonny Dykes losing that game to Georgia. They want to prove that that was not a fluke. It was not a lucky year and that they can duplicate that with a really good plan in terms of recruiting and athletes on the outside. Colorado won the toss, defer. TCU will get the ball to start this game. This is the second ever meeting between these two. Last year, it was TCU winning in Boulder. And we'll start. Major Everhart returns it. And Everhart, still on his feet, finally goes down inside his own 15-yard line. So that brings on a quarterback and Chandler Morris who was the starter at this time last year but ended up as the backup now he gets another opportunity went down against these Colorado Buffaloes in Boulder hurt that knee this is a talented guy he hasn't played a lot of football he is on a mission there's no doubt about it and talking to the coaches they say that his best attribute is his quick release and intermediate accuracy they want to try to take advantage of that early Fourth year in college football, but this is just his 13th career game. And on first down, they run it with Bailey, and he'll pick up one yard on the play. Let's take a look at this TCU offense. They're going to go fast with their new coordinator, Kendall Bryles. They like their offensive line, but it's really about a very deep core of wide receivers, mainly built through the transfer portal, Gus. In particular on the outside, you look for guys like JoJo Earl, Jalen Robinson. They can fly. They're very athletic. Savion Williams with the reception on that play. Brings up third down and three at the 25. Colorado with an opportunity to get off the field early. This ball thrown to the wide side. And it is caught by J.P. Richardson. But Colorado unable to move the chains and they'll have to punt it away. Well, this defense gets a three and out and it's a defense that's a bit light up front and I don't know exactly what to expect from them schematically, Gus, but I will tell you their strength is in their defensive backs. We'll see Travis Hunter on offense and defense. He'll primarily play corner number 12. You saw him in on that last pass breakup. Jordy Sandy ready to punt it away. Jimmy Horn is the deep man for the Buffaloes. He signals for the fair catch and has it at the 26, maybe the 27-yard line, a 48-yard punt. So, Shadour Sanders, the son of Deion Sanders, a prolific passer while at Jackson State. He comes onto the field for the first time as the leader of this Colorado Buffalo squad. And he has been not only a leader, but a winner everywhere that he's been as a starting quarterback. Last year, 12-1. This guy threw for 46 touchdowns, only six interceptions. The offense has to run through his mind. 
They're not great up front on the offensive line. Remember, this is a 1-11 team from a year ago, totally rebuilt roster. So it's going to be incumbent on Shador Sanders to put the ball in the right spot and make sure that the numbers are equated for the offense. First down and 10 of the 27-yard line. Sanders will throw it on first down. He'll swing it out of the backfield, checks it down, finds Dylan Edwards, and Edwards gets out of play but picks up some positive yards as he gains seven. Avery Helm ushers him out of bounds uh, in the Colorado offense. They're going to go fast as well. Kent State head coach Sean Lewis comes in as their offensive coordinator. We do have a flag on that play as Travis Hunter gets his first catch. They're in the slot. And again, they believe in their skill positions, Gus. They think that they have the skill to play with anybody. And it's just incumbent on Sanders to get that ball out as quickly as he can and in the hands of those playmakers. That's Avery Helm. Helm is a transfer from Florida, and you see right there, absolutely grabs the face mask of Javon Antonio on the outside. Antonio is a guy they really believe in on the Colorado side, fast player. First down and 10 at the 45-yard line, opening series for Colorado. Edwards running it straight ahead, and he's stopped by Obi Izor defensively for TCU. Well, this is a team that certainly didn't play their best at the end last year and they've got to replace a Thorpe Award winner and Travis Tomlinson they've got to replace some production production up front their two best players though nose tackle Dominic Williams and corner Josh Newton second down and eight at the 43 Colorado with success moving the football to start this game Sanders out of the gun sets up goes deep got a receiver down the sideline and incomplete, no flag on the play. Avery Helm in coverage intended for Travis Hunter, the two-way star. First mistake of the day is Sanders underthrowing this because Hunter has a step. He has Helm beat on the outside, but as he's got to try to come back for the ball right there, it was underthrown, and it brings up third down. Third down and eight at the 43. And Sanders out wide. And it's Michael Harrison. Harrison gets close to that first down. Looks like he may have it for Colorado. It was the broken tackle right when he got the ball, and he dives forward, and TCU is all over the place. I think they got 12 on the field right there. Sanders bottled up and dropped for a loss. Colorado, though, moving quickly on offense, and there is a flag on the play. I mean, quickly is an understatement right now, Gus. This is like hyper-tempo for Colorado offensively. They were trying to run off here. This is going to be a, a 12 men on the field as they were trying to jog off and substitute. You see here, TCU's trying to substitute. Colorado is at the line of scrimmage and ready to go, and they can snap it as long as they didn't substitute. They didn't, and TCU gets caught, you see right there, as they were trying to run off the field. I, I'm impressed by the operation offensively. Remember, this is the totally new roster, totally new coaching staff. All these players, they've never been in the game before together, and they're operating very quickly for Coach Prime on this first series. First down and five now at the 30-yard line of TCU for the Colorado Buffaloes opening series. Sanders checks it down to the wide side. He's got his receiver. And out of bounds goes Dylan Edwards. Edwards gets up a little gimpy. Hopefully he can walk that off. But he had some running room in front of him. Just couldn't stay in play. Yeah, that was awkward because it was non-contact. He got kind of tangled up. As a young player, he just went too quickly into the flat. Kind of ran himself into the boundary. Second down and two to 27 after the three-yard gain. And they'll hand it off straight ahead. Anthony Hankerson. And Hankerson, sophomore. There's really no reason to say, like, oh, he's a transfer. They're all transfers. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so it's like, you know, everybody that you're seeing for Colorado, this is their first time in a game together. That's why I say this is an experiment that is going on in Boulder. Never seen anything like this before. First down and 10 of the 23. Sanders again. This time he finds Travis Hunter. Hunter looking for the first down, picks his way forward and gets close to it, and he may have it. 
So far, I just love the game plan from Sean Lewis, the offensive coordinator. He was a Kent State head coach. Now he's a coordinator for Colorado. You notice, Gus, how quickly that ball is out of Shador Sanders' hands. Every time he gets it, they're trying to minimize that offensive line, the inexperience up there, get the ball out to the playmakers as quickly as they can. They've done a nice job so far. Didn't get the first down. Second down and one. Here's Sanders in the end zone. And that ball... Incomplete Xavier Weaver, the target. Josh Newton all over him. Josh Newton is one of the best corners in the country out there. This is a guy that I firmly believe could be a first round draft pick if he plays well this year. He was manning the other side from Travis Hodges Tomlinson last year who won the Thorpe Award, but many believe Newton was actually the better player. And I got to tell you, he had a, a look of determination in his eyes yesterday. Third down and one. Looking for the first down. Hankerson spins out of trouble, gets it. And finally, upended around the seven-yard line. Colorado having no problems moving it against this TCU defense. And they have been able to pick up a few little chunks on the ground. It's something I did not expect to see here early. First down and goal. Sanders now to the near side. Caught. And it's Jimmy Horn Jr. He'll get inside the five. I'll tell you what, this is about as good of a start as you can possibly want if you're coach prime right now but this is where the rubber meets the road you got to punch this into the end zone you do not want a deflaney field goal opportunity and that's why i think if i'm coach prime i'm telling my offensive coordinator you got four downs they got to get this in the end zone second down and goal hankerson in the backfield with sanders and they'll give it to him he cuts it back trying to find a crease and stop Tackled for a loss on this play. Well done as Jamoy Hodge is the first man to him. Well, now it's about matchups, and you get backed up like this. Now you probably don't have four down territory. You'd probably take the points unless it's inside the one. So now it's about a matchup on the outside. You've got to try to find your best athlete. You've got to expect that they're probably going to target Travis Hunter here. He's the one that they believe in. He's going to be at the bottom of your screen. Edwards back in on third down and goal. Sanders operating out of the gun. Sanders looking wide open. Touchdown. Dylan Edwards. And Colorado marches it right down the field on their opening series which started at the 27-yard line. 12-play drive covering 73 yards. Coach Prime's team confident, and they'll take a 6 to nothing lead. What you get is a confusion here between the linebacker and the end, and Colorado just exploits it by getting the back out there. Someone's got him in man coverage, probably the linebacker. Hodges doesn't get out into the flat, and Colorado scores his first touchdown. Alejandro Mata, who came over to Colorado from Jackson State, with Coach Prime adds the extra point. And how about this, folks? 20-point underdogs, Colorado, opening series. They score easily. Deion Sanders says, those are my guys. You're going to see 7 to nothing. Buffs. You would target in five. Make a hard left down the alley. Network's got you covered. Changing route. Go. Road block ahead. Back up, back up. Reverse, reverse. Next level moments. We're 30 seconds out. Need the next level network. North corridor, hurry. Coming through. Alert three, let's go. The network, more businesses choose. Transplant received. AT&T Business. Around here, we like to keep things simple and honest. Sure do. That's why at Progressive, we show you rates from other companies, even if they're lower than ours, so you can choose what's best for your family. Comparing rates used to be a hard day's work, but not with AutoQuote Explorer. Need me to help again? No. So join us and taste why Progressive is the name people trust. Sorry, are we talking about apples now or insurance? <laughs> <laughs> why is that funny? Massage de bird, you know, boy, oh. Let's go 
gonna taste all right. Welcome to Hampton by Hilton. Big game tomorrow. You guys ready? Oh, we're ready, Gus. <laughs> Which way is the room? Bring it in. 301, two queens, best sleep guarantee. Oh, so comfy. Oh, nailed it. it. One, two, three. Bubbles! Syrup. They're hungry for the win. Big time. When you're playing to win, it matters where you stay. Hampton by Hilton. Hilton for the stay. David Spade hosts Snake Oil, a new game show based on a classic scam. This fall on Fox. Big Dude Saturday is sponsored by AT&T Business. Next level moments need the next level network. And by Progressive Insurance, protect the stuff you love with renter's insurance. Deion Sanders, a motivator. He doesn't have to be here. We asked him yesterday, why? Why did you take on these challenges of coaching college sports? He said, because I love the kids. I want to make sure that they have great role models, and I feel like I can have a social impact in the game that I love. 7 to nothing, Buffaloes. Let's see how TCU responds as he'll take a knee in the end zone. Morris ready to come back on the field. Time now for today's game flow, sponsored by Progressive. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that suck you with a three-year device. All right, back here in Fort Worth, TCU. Firing it to the far side. No gain on the play. That ball caught by Savion Williams. And Williams is the guy that they're anticipating taking over that Quentin Johnston role. He was so good a year ago, obviously, for TCU. Second down and 10 at the 25, and they'll run it. This is Bailey with major room. He'll tumble forward and get to the 40-yard line before being brought down. That's really the first time we've seen him test that defensive front. They've been trying to get the ball out there on space. I expect him to get back to that run game a little bit here in the second series. First down to the 39. Long throw and incomplete. And that is Hunter in coverage. The two-way star intended for Dalen Wright. Wright can fly. Matched up on Hunter. He's got the coverage. That ball just overthrown and a bit behind the wide receiver. Second and 10 at the 39-yard line. Both these teams playing extremely fast. Hyper speed in the Big 12. Morris drops it off. Finds his big tight end, Jared Wiley. And Wiley will run forward. Gets out of bounds. Senior from Temple, Texas. And he'll pick up 14. Horn Frogs back to the line of scrimmage. Now to the near side. This time, it's JoJo Earl. And JoJo Earl will get to the Colorado 30. He gained 16. He comes in from Alabama, highly recruited. Comes back to the DFW area, which is where he played his high school football. Really good player. And here's that tempo and now getting the ball on the outside of those playmakers. First down at the 31. Sideline throw, back shoulder, caught at the 10-yard line. Warren Thompson waited for it, red shirt senior. Beautiful throw, beautiful adjustment by Thompson going back to the back shoulder. First down at the Colorado 12. Here's a handoff, and it's Bailey. Bonnie Bailey picks up three. Boy, this is a great answer from TCU, this offense. There's Kendall Bryles, new offensive coordinator. Garrett Riley moves to Clemson. Bryles comes in. A little bit different style of offense. 
I believe that they're going to try to throw it a little bit more than they did a year ago. They're confident in their backs, but they really believe in these wide receivers, and we're seeing that on these first possessions. Second down and seven at the nine-yard line, and a whistle. Flag on the play prior to the snap. They got a little head start. False start. Offense number 77. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. That's Brandon Coleman. Yeah, Coleman's a really good player. He and Andrew Cor Coker are on the left side of that offensive line. It's pretty obvious that they moved early. But those guys are really good. Those are the starters from a year ago. Coleman goes from tackle down to guard. They strengthen up that left side for Sonny Dykes, and he believes Coleman is a pro. Three receivers at the top of your screen. Morris over the middle. Oh, and intercepted in the end zone. Trevor Woods picked it off. And Colorado. Forces the turnover. And the Buffaloes are in business. 7-0 Colorado. He never saw Woods. Creeps in from the backside. Makes a great play. The only starter on defense left from a year ago. Impresses his new coach, Coach Prime. First down, Buffaloes. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Hold on. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, man. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. A car like this shouldn't exist. Something this big, this luxurious, shouldn't move like a Mazda. And yet, it does. <laughs> oh my God, it sounds epic as well. This car is an SUV with bragging rights. The all new three row Mazda CX-90. Saving his goat and took over our office. And he's using it to send out medical bills. Good hands. Hospital bill for Prime. Yeah. Did you just say gap? He's talking about expenses health insurance doesn't cover. Good thing Coach Prime knows about saying one time. Affleck. Because Affleck gets you money to help close that gap. Now how do we get this goat out of here? Affleck. Meet one of my new homies. <laughs> get help with expenses health insurance doesn't cover at Affleck.com. Elephant would have been scarier. Officially, it's a fridge full of beer. Unofficially, it's free AC. Coors Light, the official beer of everything unofficial. Wasn't it? You're never responsible for unauthorized purchases on your Discover card. The Niners take on the Steelers. Then, the Packers battle the Bears. It's a huge week one doubleheader, September 10th on Fox. 7-0 Colorado on top of TCU here in the first quarter. And last year, Colorado's house was left in a state of disrepair, going 1-11 with a negative 29-point differential, the worst in FBS by a lot. It was time for a primetime remodel. Deion Sanders came into Boulder and tore the house down two with studs returning just three starters and bringing in 68 new scholarship players the most in FBS by a lot and so far so good for coach prime and the buffs they score on their opening drive and force a turnover when TCU drove the ball all the way down the field now Colorado with it first and ten at the 20-yard line Shadur Sanders fires to the far side has Jimmy Horn Jr. still on the move, and he picks up a first down. Boy, they're really working that short side of the field, the boundary. They did it on the first series with Dylan Edwards out of the backfield. Now they're working Jimmy Horn over there. And they did talk to us, Gus, and they said Dylan Edwards, number three, he was going to make a big play. We saw Hankerson in there in the backfield. They played pretty well so far. Gain of 11 on first down. Buffaloes decide to run it. Anthony Hankerson. 
with room. Shadour Sanders, what a job at Jackson State. Put up some eye-popping numbers in two years. Going for nearly 7,000 yards and 70 touchdowns with eight 300-yard games. Second and eight. Near side. Caught Xavier Weaver. And he'll gain five. What I like so far about the way Sanders has played is that he's just taken what the defense has given him. You see the soft coverage on the slot players, whether it's to the wide side or the short side of the field. Sanders is just calmly getting the snap, throwing it right out there for the easy completion. That's just an easy completion out there on the outside. Now you'll get some bump, bump coverage. And you see now they'll start to change the play. Third down and three. Sanders with a pretty good mentor that knows how to get the ball quickly out of his hands. His name is Tom Brady. He won a few Super Bowls. And Sanders throwing on the move. Weaver breaks a tackle, gets to midfield and inside TCU territory for gain of 12. Boy, these, these wide receivers have broken several tackles now. The running backs as well. And again, ball out of his hand. This TCU defense here, they're trying to figure out what they need to do. And what you're starting to see now is linebackers starting to widen out. Now you're going to get less and less players in that run box. Only five up there right now. First down at the 50 for Sanders and the Buffaloes. He drops back, looking deep. Down the field with the receiver. And incomplete. Wow, Travis Hunter had it. Just couldn't hold on. But Shadour Sanders dropped the biscuit in the basket here. Well, he had him on the first drive and missed him with an underthrow. That one was beautifully thrown, and Hunter can't come down with it. Would have been somewhat of a tough catch, but he runs a good route on that short side. And boy, that was a big play waiting to happen for the Buffs and just out of his reach. Sanders already 10 of 13. 70 yards with a touchdown, second and 10 at the 50. And they'll run it with Wilkerson. And Savion Wilkerson picks his way forward. Well, that's a nice run right there over the right side, and these guys just continue to churn out their legs, and now they'll continue to go fast. Third down and one of the 41. Wilkerson again, he came from Jackson State with Coach Prime. And this time he stopped. Uh, now Donnie Hodges in on the play. Well, now he's got a decision, Coach Prime. This is the biggest decision he's had to make so far as the Buffs head coach. He'll keep the offense on the field, keep the big back in the backfield, and they'll go for it here on fourth. Fourth down and two as they rise to their feet. Savion Wilkerson in the backfield with Shadour Sanders. Here's Sanders, drops it off. First down, Colorado. Horn breaks it down the field, and the Buffs keep the yep. chains moving. He gains nine. Yep, very good motion right there. You're going to get the motion, then you get to get out into the flat. What do you do? You take the game away from the front seven. You just try to get a little fake in there on short yardage, and Sanders dumps it out calmly. Horn ran a great route off that motion. First down and ten. For Colorado. Wilkerson. And Wilkerson gains three, maybe four yards on the play. Stopped by Mitchell. I'll tell you what, this defense has got to come up with an answer, and they've got to come up with an answer right away. And I, and I told you earlier that Colorado is going to try to run everything that equates to numbers. So what's happening right now, as soon as TCU gives them just a, a light run box, meaning just a few players in that defensive front seven, then they're going to run the ball. As soon as then they put an extra guy in there to stop the run, then they throw it out to the free receiver. Second and seven of the 31. Sideline throw and catch. This time it's to Varish Dawson. Dawson, a sophomore, Auburn transfer. Everybody's a transfer on the <laughs> Colorado team. That's folks. right. And, and I tell you, to, to be this efficient I, I, is the surprising part. And a lot of that is Sanders. He knows where to go with the ball, and he's been accurate so far. Third down and three at the 27. Shador Sanders looking. Bounces out of the pocket. And just walks it out of bounds. He'll take the loss on that play. Probably should have thrown it. Hodge with pressure. Yeah, that's, that's ill-advised. Losing that yardage 
makes this a much more difficult attempt here. And there was a lot of question as to who was going to be attempting these field goals. This time it will be Jace Feely. He's got the big leg, Gus. But in warm-ups, it was shaky, in particular going this direction. This one from 49 yards out. Got it up, and it's blocked. Loose. TCU has it close to midfield. That's a great rush off that right side of the defense. Beautiful job by TCU, splitting inside the in man on the line of scrimmage there, getting in there for an easy block. Could have been a scoop and score. Obi Izor. That's a big stop for TCU. Get off the field, offense coming back. You want to be like me? Well, you can't because there's only one Brad. But you can recover like me. Always, every day. They can help you recover from exercise to keep you prime. You want to stay prime, right? Hey, Coach Prime. Cut. Oh, I still got it. Eat your own. Own your breath. At PNC Bank, you can find us in big cities and small towns across the U.S., where our focus is to always support the people who live and work there. Because you call these communities home, and we do too. PNC Bank. With wet AMD, sometimes I worry my world is getting smaller because of my sight. But now, I can open up my world with Fabismo. Vibismo is the first FDA-approved treatment for people with wet AMD that improves vision and delivers a chance for up to four months between treatments, which means doing more of what I love. Vibismo is the only treatment designed to block two causes of wet AMD. Vibismo is an eye injection. Don't take it if you have an infection or active swelling in or around your eye, or are allergic to it or any of its ingredients. Treatments like Vibismo can cause eye infection or retinal detachment. Vibismo may cause a temporary increase in eye pressure after receiving the injection. Although in common, there is a potential risk of heart attack or stroke associated with blood clots. Open up your world. A chance for up to four months between treatments with Vibismo. Ask your doctor. We love our house. The outdoor space is great, but we do have invasive weeds. I think we got in the house. I think you're right. Stay away from my family! Why are you so strong? At least Geico makes bundling my home and car insurance easy. We save so much. You want me to get the spray stuff? Get the spray stuff. He's up here. For bundling made easy, go to Geico.com. It's not college football season without the delicious taste of an ice-cold Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Big noon kickoff. Big noon Saturday here in Fort Worth, Texas. TCU and Colorado. And this one incomplete. Flag on the play. Well, there was definitely contact early with the intended receiver, but the ball hit an offensive lineman. So once it's touched, then it's probably fair play with that contact. That's why they're having such a long discussion. It probably is not going to be pass interference, but they'll have to determine when they felt like that ball was tipped. It certainly was. It's just a question of timing in my eyes. Are you surprised, Joel? 109 to play in the first. Colorado up 7 0. Illegal touching. Offense number 53. Lost it down. Five yard penalty. Second down. So the contact wasn't a defensive lineman with the ball. Let's see who the ball hit first. They're trying to set up the screen, and it kind of hits off, I guess, off the shoulder, they're saying, of Andrew Corker, number 74. If that's the case, then... The previous play of an illegal touch is for, under further review. Yeah. 
also had John Lands, the center, kind of bat that ball down after it hit the shoulder. But that's still a live ball there at that point. All right, we'll take a break while they sort it out. Seven zip buffs on top of the Horn Frog. You don't have to wait until retirement to start enjoying your second act. With protected lifetime income from Pacific Life, imagine your future with confidence. For more than 150 years, we've kept our promise to financially protect and provide, so you can look forward to leading a whole different type of team. Talk to a financial professional about life insurance and retirement solutions with Pacific Life. saw this coming. We Where'd all these buffalo boneless wings go? We Hot Honey Barbecue too. Oh, there they are, with fries for five bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. You started a war. The Mafia will send everything after you. Lord knows. I'm allergic to bad things. <laughs> the Equalizer 3, now playing in theaters. Rated R. Shut it down! Kitchen Nightmares returns Monday, September 25th on Fox. Further review. Big News Saturday is sponsored by Pacific Life, creating financial security for more than 150 years. Welcome back. Gus Johnson, Joel Collette, Jenny Taft, and how do they sort this out? Well, if, if the ball touches Co Coker 74 first, then 53 lands cannot touch it. It does, they determine, touch TCU first, then the offensive lineman, 53, cannot touch it first. He did, so the penalty then stands, and here we go. Second down, and 15 at the 43-yard line. TCU throwing it, and it's complete as Morris delivers to J.P. Richardson, the junior from Missouri City, Texas. Now, that's a nice throw right there from Morris. It's It's been a, a pass-heavy start. We expected that from TCU, although their run game has had some success here so far today. Gain of 17, Trey Sanders, the Alabama transfer, battled numerous injuries, was in a car accident. Three Alabama transfers on this TCU team. Yeah, JoJo Earl, who we already mentioned earlier, and then an offensive lineman not in the lineup, Tommy Brockmeyer, is also here. Second down and seven. Sanders again. No gain on the play. Marvin Ham, the second defensively for the Buffalo. Yeah, Ham is a linebacker for them, along with Kari Manns, number 41, and they're guys that they're really relying on right now as we get close to the end of the quarter. They'll probably snap it here, though, as fast as they like to play. Third down and seven at the 37. Empty backfield for Morris. Morris looks underneath, and he has a receiver. This time, it's Dalen Wright, and Wright down at the Colorado 15, a 21-yard gain. End of the first, seven to nothing. Colorado, but TCU threatening. Jake from State Farm. Look, I want that personal price plan, so I'm gonna level with you. I've literally never washed Patrick's practice jersey. 
superstitious. Jeff, you don't need to get that personal. The State Farm Personal Price Plan simply helps you create an affordable price just for you. Uh... Yo, Jeff, you sure this is clean? Absolutely, Patrick. There you go. Ugh. That's on me. Yeah. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Dad, we got this. We got this. Let me check out that pig. We got this. We got this. Life is for living. We got this. Let's partner for all of it. Edward Jones. Officially, it's a fridge full of beer. Unofficially, it's free AC. Coors Light, the official beer of everything unofficial. There are those who see the world through a different lens, who take risks, who are willing to make a stand. Because trails, they aren't blazed by the timid, but by the bold. For 150 years, TCU has been creating the next generation of leaders to think audaciously, care compassionately, lead heroically. And now, it's our turn, our time, to lead on. This is Crapopolis. I swear it's not as bad as the name sounds. All that look. We could build an empire. What's an empire? I don't know yet, but it's going to be huge. How'd everyone sleep? I'll go first, with your mother and erotically. Crapopolis. Special premieres September 24th on Fox. Guys, check this out. I had this baby built so I can combine my two loves, Wendy's and Big Noon Kickoff. Why can't you just be like a normal person? <laughs> Deep fryer, built right in. Careful, they're hot and crispy. Kind of like where you're going with us. I'm really glad you feel that way because I had tiny desks built for all of us. For what? For our new show open. Who's in? Out. No. Love it. Big Noon Saturday is sponsored by AT&T Business. Next level moments need the Next Level Network. Amy G. Carter Stadium here in Fort Worth, Texas. Start of the second quarter. Colorado surprisingly up 7-0 on the road. Yeah, the first quarter went about as well as it could have for Colorado. They get a turnover defensively. An interception by Trevor Woods, and the offense has been able to move the football. They did get a field goal blocked, but here TCU starting to find a rhythm here on offense under Chandler Morris. First down and 10 at the 16-yard line, and they'll run it straight ahead with Bailey. Armani Bailey finding some running room. Looks like he fumbled the football. But TCU will hold on. Yeah, fortunate bounce here for TCU. Here's Bailey. He's got some room, and then right there, bam. He just gets that ball knocked out up in the air, but TCU gets the bounce, falls on it, and it's second down. Second and six. And the run with Sanders, and Sanders with submarine forward. He's close to that first down as well in front of Miles Slusher. Brings up third down and one. Horn Frogs quick to the line of scrimmage. A lot of room on that far side. Here's another handoff and a whistle. Yeah, I think Coach Prime took a timeout on that other side. He didn't like that formation. Gus, you called it. There was a lot of room over there top of your screen. Colorado took that timeout. Colorado calling their first timeout. Coach Prime, though, has to be pleased with the way his team's playing up 7 0. Terrorists have taken possession of nuclear missiles. If these babies go off, it's on you. Any questions? Get in, losers. We're going shopping. Good to be back. Yep. Let's fly, baby. We can use some help. I got you. Ready? Well, that's what I'm talking about. Expendables, definitely rated R. September 22nd. And Doug. What do we always say, son? Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance. They only pay for what you need. That's my boy. And you get out there and you make us proud, huh? Bye, Uncle Emu. <laughs> Let's 
stay off the freeways. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 liberty. There you go! That's what I'm talking about! Is this your plan to watch the game today? Uh, yeah, I have to watch my neighbor's NFL Sunday ticket. It's not your best plan. But you know what it is? My plan from Verizon. Switch now and they'll give you NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube TV on them. This plan is amazing. Another amazing plan? Backing away from here very slowly. Oh, it's Josh Allen. Mm -hmm. Football season is here. Get NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube TV on us. A $449 value. Plus, get a free Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. Only on Verizon. Right now, get a free foot long at Subway. Like the Subway series menu. Buy one foot long in the app. Get one free. For free. That's what I'm talking about. Order in the Subway app today. Michelin is investing in plastic recycling to repurpose waste into tires starting in 2024. World time has come to Michelin, motion for life. This place is a death trap. Shut it down. I came here to help you, but now we're starting to lose control. What is that? Are you willing to change? Kitchen Nightmares returns Monday, September 25th on Fox. Pacific Life Game Summary, sponsored by Pacific Life, creating financial security for more than 150 years. You see what's going on. 7 nothing. Colorado. Shador Sanders has been sensational so far. 12 of 15 for 81 yards and a touchdown. Chandler Morris, though, quarterback for TCU, he's put together a really good series here. He's 7 of 11, and they are set up, Gus, here on a third down inside the 10-yard line. Third down and one at the seven. The handoff. Sanders to the end zone. Touchdown, TCU. Trey Sanders. And the Horn Frogs with an opportunity to level this game. Well, they get the key block here on the outside. This is Nichols. And as the run comes around, he's going to get the outside because Nichols is able to secure the edge. The Colorado fans are going to think that he gets away with a hold there, but Sanders gets the edge easily. It was the same formation, Gus, that they had right before the timeout. They came back to it, run the same play, and it gets into the end zone. What a good drive and a good answer from TCU after that blocked field goal. Griffin Kell in to attempt the extra point, and it's good. Seven up, Colorado TCU. Horn Frogs go on a seven play, 52 yard drive. Set up by a block field goal. What would make you feel comfortable with the price? Well, no one made me feel more comfortable than my kindergarten teacher, Miss Jane. Try saying, show me the Carfax value. You'll get the most accurate price based on the vehicle's accident history. Shop at the all new Carfax.com. You got this, buddy, you got it. During an asthma attack, every second feels like an eternity. Primatine Mist works fast. It's clinically shown to open airways quickly. Get the number one FDA-approved over-the-counter asthma inhaler, Primatine Mist. Breathe easy again. Don't forget, you can find all of Joel's Breaking the Huddle content at FoxSports.com, the Fox Sports app, and CFB on Fox social platform. Yeah, it's been fun already so far in the preseason. I, I'm just loving this time of year. Two games in the first week, Gus. Thursday night, that thrilling finish between Minnesota and Nebraska. This game, I can't remember a game with this much interest and intrigue to start a year in a long time. And certainly love doing it with you guys on the podcast as well. The Joel Platt Show, you can find it wherever you download your podcast. All right, let's go downstairs and check in with Jenny. Well, guys, we expected the warm temperature today, and thankfully I'm tracking this thing. We are around 105 degrees, but with the cloud coverage, that actually makes a huge difference right now around 95. Now I can tell you everyone at TCU wanted to be as warm as possible. You guys know how this Minnesota girl is probably struggling right now. I'm sure you guys are very comfy up here in the booth. <laughs> well, you got the cool power breezer fan down there, Jen. That's right. That's right. I, I will say this is when, as a player, this is when you are so relieved that this is not turf and it's natural grass. That takes at least 10, sometimes 15 degrees away from that bottom area, and it just makes it so much more manageable. 
like it is here today. All right, let's see how the Buffaloes respond with the game level at seven. Sanders in trouble, throws on the move, and he has Travis Hunter. Shadour Sanders. Had 26 scholarship offers, including Georgia, Alabama, and Oregon coming out of Cedar Hills High School right here in Texas. Second down and seven. Here's the run and a first down. Well done by this offensive line as Edwards picks up the first down, but Clark with the tackle. First down at the 36, Shadur Sanders. Finds his receiver on the near side. Quick coverage. Travis Hunter, the target, picks up two. Well, we've seen Edwards. We've seen Hankerson in the backfield. We haven't seen Alton McCaskill. He was a transfer from Houston. A lot of hype, but he's been in a non-contact jersey in camp. He's trying to come back from an ACL from a year ago. Haven't seen him. It's been mostly Dylan Edwards, the youngster. Second and eight at the 38. Underneath, they find a man, and this time it's Jimmy Horn, Jr., and he's short of the first down, but picks up five yards, but Clark with the stop. And that, that play did exactly what it was supposed to do, which is create a third and manageable right there so that you're not just throwing it from a long yardage, exposing your offensive line. Now you can bring a tight end in, you can get a little play action, and you can try to create leverage on the outside with some misdirection. Third down and three yards to go from the 43. Sanders over the middle first down Colorado Travis Hunter again I tell you Travis Hunter must be the most well-conditioned athlete in college football <laughs> either that or he will be after today I tell you this is so unique in particular playing for this guy coach prime and he's gonna get the ball right here first down at the 47 Hunter with the reverse and remember Deion Sanders as a player especially with the Cowboys is a two-way star Actually, a three-way star. Sometimes he play wide receiver as well as his defensive back position and run back punts. And you can see he's a little tired right now, and he's going to step off the field. What they want here is to give him his rest on offense because you can play around that. You can have different personnel groups. They like their wide receivers. But what they really need is him on the field defensively. He's their best corner, and in particular against a pass-happy offense. So when you see him leave the field, it will primarily be on the offensive side. Second down and eight at the 45. Sanders all day to throw the football guns it underneath caught well done as Xavier Weaver breaks it back and gets inside the TCU 15 yard line I tell you this Colorado team is not afraid of TCU one bit you asked me what I was surprised of so far it's been the offensive line play he had all day to throw there first down and 10 at the 12 and it's Hankerson breaks it back this offensive line firing off the football when they run it and having a nice nice stay at it when they decide to throw second and five they've done a great job of trying to take the defensive line away from tcu try to take dominic williams out of the game he's so good in there at defensive tackle and they've done a nice job of staying on the outside from the eight sanders looking changes course Decides to run it, and he'll be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Johnny Hodges with the tackle. Uh, you just wonder right here, coverage so good. There's a little miscommunication right here. He felt he was going to get a block, wanted to run. Wide receiver back, takes off into the end zone, and he gets tackled right here. But on third down, what they've had success with is that boundary, that short side of the field. I wonder if they'll send Dylan Edwards over to that side of the field again Try to get him lined up on a linebacker. That's where they've had success so far. Third down at five at the eight-yard line. Here's Sanders. Lofts it in the corner. And caught. Touchdown, Colorado. Travis Hunter. Wow, he went up and got that one. There is a flag. There was tons of contact there between Hunter, and it looked like Josh Newton on that side. That is Newton number two. Here's the fade. They're going one-on-one, -on -one, best against best. Newton. Best interference, defense number two. The foul is declined. Result of the play is a touchdown. I tell you what, that is a sensational catch. Now the question is, 
Did he secure control of that ball before that right foot hits out of bounds? There is the left foot. Now it's secure before that right one. Maybe not quite sure about that left hand. Let's see when control is established. It's really hard to tell on that look. A sensational catch. Whether it's complete or not, I think remains to be seen. But man, that battle between two great athletes was sensational to watch. Here's going to be, there's, no, he doesn't have control there, Gus. Again, you've got to have control, then you can look at a foot. Hunter didn't have control when that right foot hits. Yeah. Dean Blandino, our rules analyst, joins us now. The previous play is under further review. The ruling on the field was a touchdown. Dean, your thoughts on so this play? they're going to review it. Absolutely. They're going to review it, and the key is control. And when Hunter establishes firm control, that right foot is out of bounds. We had some great looks. This is an incomplete pass. You can look at this shot. This gives you a great look of the foot. And then you piece it together with the angle from the other side where you can see when control is established. It's an incomplete pass, but we did have the flag for defensive pass interference, and Colorado will accept that. Yeah, so they'll go back and accept that. So it won't be a touchdown, but we'll have first and goal for Colorado. But that, what a battle right there. How about those two guys? I mean, those two, those are two of the best players in college football right there, battling it out in the corner of the end zone. And that was that was fun to watch. Newton, I tell you, meeting with him, how impressive was Josh Newton yesterday? Meeting with him, a look at determination in his eyes. Proof about how good this defense can play and this team as well. Jenny, you know, our conversation with, with him was sensational. He was, I mean, steely-eyed in that room. Travis Hunter, his length and speed make him a shutdown guy on one corner and his instincts make him a big play guy if he gets his hands on the football offensively or defensively. Hunter transferring from Jackson State as well. It's incomplete and we just go back to the you got Travis Hunter, Deion Sanders telling us yesterday that he has to calm the young man down a little bit. He just can't keep him from working so hard. He wants him to rest, <laughs> but he wants to compete. He's That's like, right. he's like, he sees a drill and he's like, well, I want to do that. I want to, <laughs> I want to try to win that drill. Uh, I think it's taking so long here just so they can figure out the DPI defensive pass interference, where the ball is, and you know, what the down is going to be. After further review. It was determined that the receiver did not have control of the ball as he stepped out of bounds. However, it is still pass interference defense number two. The foul occurred in the end zone. Therefore, ball would placed at the two-yard line, automatic first down. Josh Newton. Call for the pass interference. So that makes it first down and goal for Colorado, although they take away the touchdown. Buffaloes with a golden opportunity here. 9.34 to go in the second quarter. First to goal at the two. For the first time, Colorado's trying to get big in there. I believe that's Bishop Thomas, a defensive lineman in at fullback, number 95. Savion Wilkerson, the deep man. Sanders gives it to him. Touchdown, Buffaloes. Wow. How simple can it get? Savion Wilkerson marches it straight into the end zone. Beautiful job by the Woo. right side of that offensive line. And how about that block? And that was Bishop Thomas, the defensive lineman, and just plants the TCU defender in the end zone. And Colorado walks into another touchdown. Wow. I tell you, this offensive line, Gus, that's the surprise. No one expected this offensive line to play as well as they have here through the first one and a half quarters. Extra point is up and good. Ten plays covering 75 yards. Buffaloes eat up four minutes and 29 seconds as they answer the TCU touchdown. Coach Prime's kids are balling here in the first half, and he told us this would happen. 
We don't know any first responders who only give 90%. Or farmers, the workers who build our towns, roads, infrastructure. They don't stop at halfway. And good luck finding a small business owner who's happy with an 80% effort. That's why they use Ford trucks. Ford F-Series, 100% assembled in America. Because we're all in on America. On September 8th. Whatever you hear. Whatever you see. Whatever you do, don't look away. She's standing in her The Nun Chapter 2. Read R. It's pizza night, but that ain't pizza. Nope. This is KFC's new $20 fill-up box. Let me get those new KFC chicken nuggets. Pass me that sauce. And biscuits, too. Looks good. Tastes good. This is for everybody. Got the sausage. Yeah, oh my God. Mm, perfect. Holy, oh, oh, what's the pitch? There you go. 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 I want a Sunday. I'm your football obsessed best man. And I think you having your big day during the big game is the worst. What, are you kidding me? Physically, I'm right here, but mentally, I'm here. Yeah, I do. Come on, speed it up. When all eyes are on you, my eyes are glued to the game. Whoa! <laughs> Touchdown, yeah! <laughs> and if you didn't bundle your home and auto insurance with all of this, this could be tough to tackle. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem. <laughs> like me. Big Noon Saturday is sponsored by Allstate. You're in good hands. 14 to 7, Colorado leading on the road. Deion Sanders' first game as the head coach of the Buffaloes. Are you surprised that they're playing this well, Joel? I'll ask you that again. Yeah, yeah I mean, again, I think the only element would be the, the offensive line has, has been really good. Provided a lot of time for Shador Sanders as Dion gives that left leg a little bit of a break over there on the sideline. That's the surprise. Everything else, I, you know, I think that we expected. I mean, we were told, although it was a lot of bravado, but they, they told us they had great skill position, and that's certainly been the case. And the offensive line playing much better, a lot better than we thought as Major Everhart tries to pick his way up the field and gets close to the 30. Now, let's give you a trivia question here. Who was the last team to win a national championship after being unranked in the preseason? Aflac trivia question sponsored by Aflac. Get help with expenses. Health insurance doesn't cover with Aflac. I'm just going to take a wild guess. I'm going to say Colorado. No, 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 because they only have one and they had just been to the national championship game ah. and then they were ranked pretty highly the next year. I think it was Auburn. Okay. Cam Newton's Auburn? Yeah, I, I believe it was Cam Newton's Auburn, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe that Florida State team with Jameis Winston, I believe. Oh, you get right. one guess. I know. I'm, I'm talking myself. You get one guess. A, a final answer, Auburn, sir. Okay. Second down and one at the 38. Monty Bailey. As he is taken down by Miles Slusher. Here's your answer. Who is it? Ah, oh, Georgia Tech. The co-national champion with Colorado in 1990. Ah, how about uh, that? Uh, co-national champions. First down and 10 at the 40. Chandler Morris, empty backfield. Here's Morris, quick release. And it's caught at the 46-yard line by Jared Wiley. A six-yard gain. I like Wiley a lot. He's a heck of a player, and the more they can feature him, the better. Second and four. But I think this Colorado team doing a nice job keeping TCU in front of them. Yeah, I agree. And that was one thing that, you know, a key for them was going to try to be limit the explosives. Offense number 68, five-yard penalty. Second down. You know, but part of that is that TCU was so good at it last year. So many explosive plays, and on this side now, you look at Travis Hunter, and there's a look at Shiloh Sanders, the safety, Dion's other son on the team. But Travis Hunter already 
over 50 snaps today. And, I mean, that is a torrid pace here early in this game. If TCU wants to try to take advantage of that, they should try to attack Travis Hunter. Second down and nine. Morris dancing in the pocket. And finally, he gets knocked out of bounds at the 40. Physical play by Trevor Woods. Uh, junior. I, I think the surprise here is that TCU is playing a little sloppy offensively, although maybe we should have expected that as well. They only had three starters back from a year ago. They have a new coordinator as well. So a lot of new pieces and transfers on this side as well, trying to get their feet wet and find the rhythm here early in the season. Great opportunity for Colorado to get off the field on third down and nine. Morris looking. Incomplete. Looks like he had an open receiver in Warren Thompson. However, Shiloh Sanders. Sanders came in late with the hit. Omarion Cooper with the coverage gets away with that hook on the right hip right there. Bats it away and Sanders flies in with a physical hit after that ball arrived and Colorado gets off the field. I tell you what, that defense has been better than advertised so far here today. Jordy Sandy will punt it away. Jimmy Horn is the deep man. <laughs> that one takes a bounce and gets out of bounds. 14 to 7 back after this. I walk along the city streets you used to walk along with me. Every step I take recalls how much in love we used to be. Oh, how can I forget you when there is always something there to remind me? Always something there to remind me. Cash back is good, but double cash back is even better. Discover matches all the cash back you've earned at the end of your first year, which is cash back at its best. We love our house. It's on a great block, tree lined streets. The neighbors are observant. And we're back at the Sullivan house. It's lawn day, Sheila, and the leaves are piling up. Ugh, bit of an eyesore. I'll say. Dry shave. Interesting technique. That's going to come back to haunt him. Some people clean while they cook, not these folks. At least GEICO makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. Saves us a ton. If only they'd bundled the leaves. You know, I wouldn't have pegged these two as yogis. I still don't. For bundling made easy, go to GEICO.com. Welcome to Sabrina's Laws of the Game. Pay attention, you might learn something. Law 1, be a student of the game. And this school just dominates. Law 2, practice. 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 See everything. She has eyes in the back of her head. Law four, use doubt to your advantage. When I was a kid, I used to play grown men for Slurpee money. Now, I got my face on a Slurpee cup. <laughs> Law five, Hoopers stay hungry. A triple-double record and a triple-double sandwich. Law six, pull all the strings. Law seven, make them proud. Law 26, call your shot. 48, 53, Make room. Come in clutch. Learn everything, earn everything. Back in Fort Worth, Texas, the home side TCU down 14 7 to Colorado. Rob, so with you coming up on the State Farm halftime report, the guys will break down that opening drive for the Buffaloes, plus highlights from around the land, including number two Michigan in action without their head coach, Jim Harbaugh, and Oklahoma really in need of a bounce back type season, having a really strong start at home. Hey, Gus, how big is that smile on Joel Klatt right about now? Oh, man, he uh, oh. he's trying to keep it inside. We're, <laughs> we're just, we're just calling he is football not, here. He is, he is not biased at all, <laughs> we know even though he's though. a Colorado graduate. First down and 10 at the 14. Gus, I've watched two decades of really bad football, so it's you know, this is <laughs> all good. Sanders out of the pocket, throws on the move and incomplete. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be a flag down late. Weaver, the intended receiver. I think they're going to get a late hit here, roughing the passer. 
Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense number six, 15-yard penalty, first down. Boy, that is a huge break for Colorado. Watch, six is Jamoy Hodge, the linebacker, so he throws it. Yeah, that ball is, is long gone, and he comes up there. Just ill-advised some frustration, maybe, Gus, on that defense, uh, defense for TCU as Colorado's been able to move the ball, and Hodge just took an ill-advised shot. First down at the 29-yard line, and the handoff. TCU ready for that run as Hankerson is dropped by number 44, Rick DeBrew. Great move up front by DeBrew right there. He was in the backfield very fast. Hankerson had no chance there on that snap and one of the few times so far today that we've seen Colorado off schedule here on a longer yardage situation. Loss of two on the play. Second down and 12 at the 27. Sanders in trouble and sacked at the 18. DeBrew there. Johnny Hodge is there. He was trying to go left with this ball over to this side, but never gets there. Good defense by the corner, and then Hodges is able to get home, and now finally that pass rush is able to get to Shador Sanders. Sanders has been sitting there unscathed, very clean in the pocket, and finally TCU wins a matchup up front, and it's Johnny Hodges. Second sack of the day for Colorado. Excuse me, for TCU on Colorado. Third down and 19 at the 20. Savion Washington, the right tackle. Just steps out of his stance, and for the first time today, really since the beginning of the game, this crowd into the game here, making it loud, hard on Colorado. And this is where, if you're the bus, you just don't want to make a big mistake. The likelihood of converting this is are so low. If you're Sanders, you don't want to make a mistake. You might even just go with a screen or a draw. Third down and 24 at the 15. First penalty of the game for Colorado. Hankerson running it straight ahead. Gains three. Johnny Ra Hodges with the tackle. And the Buffaloes will punt it away. Nice job by that front seven. Getting after it. You got the good stop on first down. It was DeBru with the first down stop. Then you get the sack from Hodges. And now you get off the field and possibly an opportunity to establish some positive field position here for the offense. So the defense setting up the offense here for the Horn Frogs. First punt of the game for Colorado. Mark Vassett. Angles it toward the far side. Takes a bounce. Goes out of bounds around the 35. 14 to 7. Buffaloes on top of the Horn Frogs here on Big Noon Saturday. Every year, summer poses the same question. How do you make the most of every moment before it passes you by? The simple answer, don't wait. Get behind the wheel of the BMW you've always wanted and tell summer it's on. Don't miss out. The BMW Summer On Sales event is on now. Pre-in for credit of up to $2,000 on select models now through September 4th. Have fun, sis. Can't stop adding stuff to your cart? Get the Bank of America Customized Cash Rewards Card. Choose the online shopping category and earn 3% cash back. Hey, Dad. I got an A in my book report. That's cool. And I went for a walk in the woods, and I didn't get a single flea or tick on me. You are just the best. Right? I'm great. <laughs> you are great. Brother. This flea and tick season, trust America's number one pet pharmacy, Chewy. What any? What Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Who do you even play for? T-Mobile. T-Mobile has plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. That's good play, Colin. Cheers. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. This is Fubo TV. It's a better way to watch live news, shows, and sports without cable. Watch multiple games at once with MultiView. Try free at FuboTV.com. On season six of Fansville by Dr. Pepper, things are heating up. Mom, Dad, I have a girlfriend, and she likes college football. The stars have arrived. I made my choice. 
this season, I will be drinking Dr. Pepper Strawberries and Cream. And everyone wants a taste of fame. Welcome back to Chuck's Take, because every fan needs a podcast. To get a thick color, I use two coats of maroon. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. I love your nails. Thank you. Big Noon Saturday is sponsored by BMW, the ultimate driving machine. And by Bank of America, what would you like the power to do? Last year, TCU was 6-1 and one in one-score games. The six wins were tied for the most in the country. The sixth win was against Michigan in the college football playoff semifinals, and nobody saw that coming. That TCU team played their hearts oh, out in that semifinal. Man, it game. was so it was so good. What a great game that was. And but in large respect, Gus, you know that that run last year, however improbable it was, that's part of what has fueled their offseason. Obviously, you lose a championship game, you want to come back and, and you know rewrite that history. But Gus, it's it's everyone telling them like, oh, that was so amazing, or what a lucky year, how improbable that was. It has created a huge chip on the shoulder of these TCU players, namely their quarterback. They've wanted to, all offseason to come out here and prove that they are an elite college football team. Here's Chandler Morris to throw it on first and ten in trouble, and he scrambles out of trouble, picks up a first down, mm -hmm. sliding. Chandler Morris. And they do not give him the first down, but he picks up nine on the play, second down and one. And now first down for TCU as Trey Sanders runs the ball. Good run on that previous play by Chandler Morris. He looked up, there was man coverage being played, and so he had a big patch of grass there and took off. And then here on that last run play, Colorado, you got Savion Williams and Omarion Cooper getting into it right there. You got the shoving, and the helmet comes off. Here's Morris to throw it. Morris to the sideline. And he finds J.P. Richardson. J.P. Richardson doing a fine job as he makes another catch. Had five catches against TCU last year, including a 22-yard touchdown. We got a cramp back there for Colorado. I believe that's McClendon. Beautiful job of patience there by Chandler Morris, allowing that play to develop, and then J.P. Richardson finds that soft spot in the zone over there on the short side of the field. And a really good series, and not quite as fast. That tempo slowed just a touch. They're still going fast, obviously, but not the hyper speed that we saw earlier I think that you look at Kendall Bryles and you start to say he, he wanted to calm them down a little bit, get them into more simple looks. They certainly have done that so far, led by Chandler Morris here. A couple of nice decisions. 345 and counting, remaining in the first half. First and 10 of the 25 for TCU. Morris delivers sideline incomplete. Jared Wiley, the tight end, his target. Just couldn't hold on to that one. And he had him, too. He was wide open. Beautiful concept over there on the right side. And Wiley is wide open. But that ball high and behind Wiley could not make the adjustment there for the catch. Second and 10 of the 25. Oh. Morris in the end zone. Incomplete. Flash Robinson is target. Great effort. Robinson lays out right there. Sanders, or excuse me, Travis Hunter got a hand on that ball, and then it comes loose as he hit the ground. Beautiful ball by Chandler Morris, but just unable to get there. Robinson can't haul it in. That brings up third down and 10 at the 25. For Chandler Morris in this TCU offense. Gus Wiley is their mismatch. He's top of your screen up there, and he's behind a stacked wide receiver. Here's Morris. And Morris incomplete. Flag on the plate. Doesn't look like one will be thrown. Savion Williams 
the intended receiver. Now there was definitely some contact here. Hunter thought that he got pushed off as Savion Williams kind of gets away with a little contact, but the ball was over his head. Definitely a little push off there, but now they have to settle for a field goal. Nice stand right there, and the defensive backs, namely Hunter, targeted a couple of times there, is able to stand his ground and force TCU into a field goal opportunity. Griffin Kell in to attempt a 43-yarder. Luke Groza award. Watch list performer, and it's incomplete as he pushes it wide right. The score remains 14-7. How about this? Deion Sanders led Colorado Buffalo team. Under four minutes to go in this first half, and they're leading it 14-7. Good snap, good hold, just pushed right. Misses it wide right, and now you've got 316 left on the clock. And Colorado looking to get another score here, putting their offense back on the field. I tell you what, just not gone the offense's way for TCU so far today. They scored 38, a little over 38 a year ago. One of the best offenses in college football for replacing all of those talented players. They felt like they had done that through the transfer portal, that Morris would play well, Kendall Bryles would replace Garrett Riley, and it hasn't materialized yet here early in this first game. First down at the 25 for Sanders. And the Buffalo, Sanders off his back foot and incomplete. Closest man to the football, Travis Hunter. You look at the lowest percentage of production coming back on offenses. These two have had to replenish their offense completely. Obviously, Colorado, for obvious reasons, TCU, just nobody back. You think about all those guys, Kendry Miller, Quentin Johnston, Max Duggan, the offensive line. They're having to replace a lot of guys, and it just hasn't gelled yet. Only three returning starters for TCU on offense. Here's the run, Dylan Edwards. And Edwards, did he cough up the football? Looks like he did, and TCU has it. Millard Bradford jumped on it. Officials now having a conversation. He ran into the back of his own receiver. And it's TCU fumble. football. That's a huge break for TCU. Here's Edwards going around this left side. As he's going down, J Javon Antonio is going to be right there. Hard to see if anything hit the ground. Clearly comes loose when he hits the leg of his wide receiver. Boy, that's awfully close, but it's starting to come loose. That is a, a tough look. This will be a better look right here. Where does he start to lose control of the ball? He looks like he's still above the ground there as the ball just starts to come away from that left forearm. So he's still up, still up. That's a tough look because you don't see the actual control right there. I think it would be hard to overturn this. There's the ball starting to move right there, and they're going to try to obviously piece together looks to establish exactly when that moment occurred and where that knee was in relation to the ground because I don't think the elbow was down, Gus, based on that look it right It didn't there. look like his elbow was down, nor was his knee down. Now, this is going to be hard to overturn. Obviously, ruling on the field is a fumble. Dean Blandino, your thoughts? Really close. What we're looking for is the left elbow form. Does it touch the ground or does it hit Edwards' teammate? It looks like it hits the left leg of number four, and that would not put... Edwards down right here the knees are up it's that left elbow the ball looks like it's just coming loose as he hits the leg to me they ruled it a fumble I don't see definitive evidence to change this it has to be clear yeah I, I agree with Dean I, I think they'll they'll let this stand and it will be a great turnover for TCU and set up their offense in an amazing spot the ball is right now right hash 22 yard line Gus and this is exactly what they need is some sort of spark or jump start for this offense that just hasn't quite looked like we expected them to look so far. Edwards has gotten a lot of run here early in this game. He was really the first blue chip freshman, not transfer, but freshman to commit to Coach Prime at Colorado. 
and sparked a couple of other very highly recruited players to come in, first-year players. But Edwards was really the first one, played for Dion all the way back in youth football, and this was a no-brainer in his mind. After further review, the ruling on the field of the fumble stands. First down, TCU. TCU football. So the Horn Frogs get the break they were looking for. Now 14-7 with 2.58 to play in the second. Coach Prime with an encouraging conversation for Edwards. TCU take it over. Well, I'll tell you what's worked so far is running off tackle. When they've gotten outside a little bit, that's, that's what really has been the best formula for TCU. And they're going to try to bunch up right here. We'll see if they get back to the run game a little bit. First down and 10 of the 22-yard line. Here's a reverse. Can they find a crease? And they do. This time, it's Major Everhart with an 8-yard gain. And a flag on the play. There was a lot going on between Amarion Cooper and I believe that Savion Williams, number three. We've seen this now a few different times, Gus. Them locked up after the play. Nice little reverse there, Major Everhart. Shows off his speed, and then after the play, Omarion Cooper, transfer from Florida State. Savion Williams, they've been going at it. There's Cooper. Tell you what, when you look down Deion Sanders' roster, you see players that come from some of the great They're programs. On the play after the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, offense number three. Unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number three. That's their first unsportsmanlike foul of the game. Those fouls offset. Second down. Savion Williams and Omarion Cooper offsetting penalties. Yeah, but more importantly here is outside of all that extracurricular, it's second and short. This is the time right here to start taking a shot. You look at last year and this year, eerily similar. TCU, first half, slow start offensively against the Buffs. And it's Morris. No gain on the play as Marvin Ham, the second, comes up with the tackle from the middle. This is a huge down. Huge down for TCU in the psyche of their team right now offensively. Try to convert, stay on the field, and capitalize on that fumble. Third down and three. Morris drops it off. Looks like a first down. Everhard turns a corner and goes out of bounds close to the five. Great design there. Everhard stayed just behind the line of scrimmage. It allowed the outside receiver to go down and get a block on the player defending Everhard. He gained 11, and they'll run it off first down with Sanders. Did he get in? Yes. Trey Sanders. So TCU capitalizes on the Colorado turnover. Good second effort from Sanders right here. After the nice third down completion, they go to Sanders. And you see the strength. Sanders is a big back, six foot. 222 pounds and he shows you that strength that made him the number one running back recruit in the country coming out he goes to Alabama has some injury issues now he's here at TCU back home in the Fort Worth area and that's a big touchdown for TCU in particular in a half in which they've struggled offensively and then they capitalize on that turnover that their defense afforded them Griffin Kell in to attempt the extra point and it's good 14 apiece, 153 to go in the first half. The TCU Horn Frogs capitalize on the turnover and level the game at 14. Baby, it's over. I mean, we both saw this coming. I'm sorry.
Next weekend, Boulder will be rocking as Big News Saturday kicks off on Fox with Coach Prime's home debut catches Colorado Buffaloes as they take on Matt Rule's Nebraska Cornhuskers. It all begins next Saturday at noon Eastern on Fox. Colorado, Nebraska, old school rivalry there. Oh man, I tell you, that is the game of my childhood. Growing up just outside the Boulder area between Denver and Boulder, that was college football to me. And boy, those were great matchups back in the day. You played against Nebraska. Oh yeah, oh yeah, back in the day, man. I tell you what, Trey Sanders though, he doesn't care about that rivalry. He got in the end zone and good for him. Talk about the long road, the injuries. He had a, a bad car accident while he was at Alabama and everything, it just wasn't working. And he finds a new home here at TCU. And I tell you what, he's excited for his opportunity and they're excited for what he can provide in the run game. And part of that, of what he can provide is power. And he just showed it there inside the five. Since joining the Big 12 in 2012, TCU has been one of the most dominant teams in the state of Texas. They have the second most wins and the second most NFL draft picks trailing only Texas A&M. Oh, yeah, and they are the only team in Texas to have reached the college football playoff. Love what Sonny Dykes is doing here at TCU. His plan, the way that he recruits not only high school players but also transfers, it's one of the advantages they have here is being in DFW. Obviously, to recruit a great base of high school players, but Gus, when those high school players don't choose TCU, they can always choose them again in the transfer portal later in their career. Here's a throw and catch Jimmy Horn. And he gains nine on the play. 140 to go. Now this offense has certainly slowed down in the second half of the second quarter. We'll see if they can get in rhythm here inside of two minutes. Colorado with two timeouts left. Sanders backpedaling. Sanders to the sideline. Jimmy Horn again. He'll get out of bounds, and the clock stops at 125. I've just been so impressed with Sanders. He knows where to go with the football. He's been accurate throwing the football. He's put on a clinic, and he's got receivers that have been running really clean and quality routes on the outside, namely Jimmy Horn. That last route was beautiful. Downfield choice route, reads it right, gets a completion. 20 of 24, 151 for Sanders in the first half. And a one-yard gain goes to Savion Wilkerson as Hodge. Brings him to the turf. Now they'll have to go a little quickly here. That one was going to waste some time trying to get a quick hitter up the middle here as we get down close to a minute. Two timeouts, still plenty of time. Second down and nine at the 42. Under a minute to go. Just got a false start here. I don't know exactly what the holdup is. False start. Offense number 50. That penalty is subject to a 10 second runoff. Colorado has elected not to use a timeout to avoid it. Clock operator, please reset the game clock to 46 seconds. Well, now they have to go very quick. I don't mind saving those timeouts because those are invaluable in this situation. The bigger challenge now with only 46 seconds left is trying to get some chunk yardage, some chunk plays. Look for the middle of the field, some in-breaking routes close to the 50-yard line. From the 37, Shadur Sanders hit as he throws. There's a chunk yard you were talking about. Jimmy Horn back-to-back-to-back to back to back catches. That will move the chains. A gain of 20. Beautiful throw from Sanders there. Good time by the offensive line. Sanders again setting up. Now rolls out. Sanders delivers. And on the sideline, is it a catch? Travis Hunter incomplete. Got his hands on it initially, but then as he's going down to the ground, I think he bobbles it right there yep it comes loose 
And as he catches it a second time, he's clearly out of bounds. Beautiful adjustment. You can see the athletic ability right there. Sanders, nice throw on the run. Trying to find Hunter, who I got to tell you, I have been so impressed. But now he's, he's clearly... Gassed. Uh, gas. I mean, over 60 snaps already just in the first half. Second down and 10 at the 43. And a timeout called by the Buffaloes. Timeout. Colorado. One timeout the remaining for Colorado. We live our lives on our home's fabrics. And though we come and go, our odors stay. It's called odor transfer. Left untreated, those odors get trapped inside fabrics and then really smells into your air. Ew. You need new Febreze Fabric Refresher. Its new formula is proven to deliver longer-lasting odor-fighting power so you can enjoy longer-lasting freshness, even hours after spraying. The more everyone sprays, the fresher your whole home stays. New Febreze Fabric Refresher. 21 seconds remaining in the second quarter, 14 up. Colorado and TCU here in Fort Worth, Texas. Shadour Sanders in his first start as the quarterback of the Buffaloes having an excellent first half. He's thrown for 171 yards, 21 of 26 with a touchdown. Facing a second and 10 at the 43. Sanders over the middle, incomplete. Jimmy Horn is target once again. And that brings up third and long. Horn wins over the middle. This ball really the only inaccurate ball he's thrown just out in front, and Horn can't quite get there. Now, they put out cones on the far side. See those cones? Those are the field goal ranges for their kickers. So Coach Prime knows exactly where they need to go. Shador Sanders knows exactly where they need to go. They need about eight yards before they would try a field goal here. Third and 10 at the 43. Sanders to the sideline, and he'll pick up a first down. Travis Hunter ran a great route. Young man playing both offense and defense. 11-yard gain with nine seconds to go. And they should be in range. Now they're in range. This is probably Feely who already had one blocked because it's pretty long right now. It would be just under 50 yards, probably about 49-yard attempt as of right now. They'd like to pick up a little bit more for Coach Prime in this kicking game. Jace Feely, the son of 14-year veteran Jay Feely. You got to use the timeout. Two-yard gain by Hankerson, and they will use that timeout with four seconds left. Field goal unit ready to come on. The all-new Undisputed is here. Skip Bayless is back. Joined by NFL legends Richard Sherman, Michael Irvin, and Keyshawn Johnson. Undisputed, weekdays at 9 a.m. Eastern, only on FS1. When you start thinking about what happened earlier today, and Jace Feely right there attempted his first field goal of his career, and it was blocked. I thought that the operation, snap, hold, kick, it was muddled because I don't think Feely was ready for the snap. That's why he was a bit late. There was a beat, Gus. I believe that's why it was blocked. Let's see if they're clean on this. You see right here, he gets off. You can see he's on his back foot, and he doesn't get a clean look, and that's a little off. He should be kicking that now, and you can see he's a beat late, and that's what allowed Namdi Obiizor to get in there and block it. Let's see if that... Well, he had a 49-yarder block. This one from 49 yards away as well. Made a 58-yard field goal in their scrimmage a few weeks ago. TCU, the first of the half, 30 seconds. TCU will call a timeout. They have two left. Can't take two in a row, though. This new rule this year in college football. So that's if you're Coach Prime, that's exactly what you tell your kicker, Jace Feely, right now. You say, okay, there is no timeouts. This is go time. And remember that clean operation. And again, it's about timing. Feely needs to be kicking that ball just a breath after it hits the ground. He was late on the first attempt. That's why it was blocked. I'd be. 
Obi Izor, by the way, great rush on that last one. And he'll be on the, the right side of the defense, Gus, left side of the kicking unit. So Cameron Warchuk is his snapper, number 47. Mark Vassett, the punter, the holder. Let's see if this battery can get one down clean for Jace Feely into a tip, a 49-yarder. Four seconds left. First half. Clean snap, good hole, gets it away. And good! Jace Feely from 49 yards out. And Colorado heads into the locker room for halftime, up by three. What a kick for the young kicker, and what a half for this brand new team. We all said at the beginning of this game, we're going to find out together. Well, we found out that Colorado came to play. One thing Deion Sanders told us that he would guarantee is effort. And they gave it, gave it in a big way. There is no doubt. And Jenny Taft is down with Coach Prime. Gus, thank you. Hey, no problem for Feely there. Tell me what you're liking from your group. You're going into the locker room with the lead. What are you liking from Shador in your offense? Oh, we're moving the ball at will. We're doing what we need to do. We need to be a little more effective in the run game. Two turnovers in this game, and we're still up by three. We get the ball coming out of halftime. I like our chances. Our guys are motivated. They're, they're ready, they're energized, and they're ready to play for the football. Travis Hunter, as advertised, over 60 snaps. How do you keep him fresh in the second? He, he is him. We missed him on two deep balls. He get those two deep balls. The Heisman is at his crib chilling right now. God bless. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you very much. Don't forget, after the break, join Rob Stone and the guys with the State Farm Halftime Show right here at Amon G. Carter Stadium, 17-14, Colorado, leading at the break. We started at 12, went an 11 deep, and dropping down since 9-6. What happened when the Big 8 met the Southwest? Seven Heisman's, count them. With six at the net, five on the floor, and four schools stronger. We put up threes, throw up deuces, and make one thing clear. We've always been greater than 12. Subway refreshed everything, and now they're slicing their deli meats fresh. That's why the new Subway Series subs are preferred by this QB. And preferred by his old backup QB. And if we prefer it, we know you'll prefer it too. Have you been behind me this whole time? Yep. Right now, get a free foot long at Subway, like the Subway Series menu. Buy one foot long in the app, get one free. For free. That's what I'm talking about. Order in the Subway app today. You said close your eyes, don't look down Fall into me, and I'll catch you, darling We'll dance in the street, like nobody's watching It's just you and me, and the song of Celebrate every kiss Get zero down special financing with the K Jewelers credit card Oh God, this place is a death trap what is that? Shut it down. I came here to help you. This looks great. But now we're starting to lose control. Touch it, it's raw. Are you willing to change? <sighs> Kitchen Nightmares returns Monday, September 25th on Fox. Operation Wonder Park is a go. There's nothing more powerful than imagination. Honey, have you seen my cell phone? But don't just imagine. My park came to life? Ooh, a plot twist. Use STEM to build. Ta -da! Create. She did it. And change the world. Who's with me? I'm more of a two feet on the ground kind of guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's gonna hurt tomorrow. If she can stem, so can you. Find out more at She Can Stem. Let's play snake oil. Yeah. Crazy products. The casket that you can build yourself. Can you figure out which are real and which are fake? It is a suitcase with a head on it. <laughs> that at all. David Spade host. Are they real or snake oil? Snake oil. Series premiere Wednesday, September 27th on Fox. 
Savion Wilkerson left Jackson State with Coach Prime to head to the hills of Colorado and his short score put the Bucks up 14-7. It is now 17-14 in Fort Worth. Welcome to the State Farm Fox College Football Halftime Show. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there as we bring you back inside Avon G. Carter Stadium. Glad you're with us here at the break. Rob Stone, Brady Quinn, Mark Ingram, Matt Liner, and the coach, Urban Meyer, here with you. The grand experiment of Coach Prime at Colorado has been an off-the-field success, no denying that. And so far on the field, it has been just as good. Their start kicks off our State Farm halftime highlights. This game couldn't have gotten off to a better start for Colorado. They force a three and out. What does the offense do? They come back with a 13 play, 73 yard drive, methodical. As Shadur Sanders literally picks apart the TCU defense, gives them a touchdown, gives them a lead. They come back and the next series, they get an interception. And right there, they gained all the momentum. And here's more than anything else, what it's done. What Prime has done is he's got this group to believe. All the speeches, all the drills, all the team activities, it's all good in the offseason. But until you go out there in a game and you can do it in a live game scenario, now they're buying in. I guarantee you every single player in that locker room had some small bit of doubt. I trust me, I've been through a coaching change before. You have that bit of doubt until you go out there, you prove it on the field and execute. And coach, you gotta give a lot of credit to the staff too. Offense coordinator Sean Lewis, the way he's spreading out the field for Shadu Sanders and those playmakers, the way they've been able to spread out the football has been a big key. Three weeks ago, I walked in that practice and no idea what to expect. And I saw exactly what you're seeing today. They're not missing tackles. The offense, they're getting the ball out fast. The offense line is supposed to be weak. Part, that's not weak. They're getting the ball out here. Take a look, look what Sean Lewis is doing. He's getting the ball out fast. The O-line was supposed to be questionable. They're not. Here he hits a nice little slant right behind the linebackers. The ball's out quick. And then here, now he gets to throw it down the field a little bit, a little second-level pass. Sean Lewis, the offensive coordinator, I sat in his meetings. He's an excellent football coach. He was the head coach at Kent State. You're seeing exactly here what I saw three weeks ago of practice. They didn't waste time of practice, high-end execution, and I'm, I'm blown away right now. Yeah. Are you kidding me yeah. what's happening? Yeah. This is excellent performance by CU. Yeah, it is excellent. And Shadur, Shadur Sanders is straight up balling. I mean, he's getting the ball out of his hands to these playmakers' hands, and they're breaking tackles and getting yards after the catch. But what Prime said to have, going into the halftime, they need to get the run game going. Yep. They need to be yeah. more efficient in the run game. So I think this offensive line will be the difference in the game. Can they move the line of scrimmage? Can they create some scenes for these running backs to run through? Because these running backs will be the difference in this game. Yeah, Brady, you talked about the offense starting fast. The defense got the three and out and really set the tempo of this thing. And I was really, I had no idea what to expect from the Colorado defense. It said they're a little light up front. I'll tell you what, they won the line of scrimmage. They had a key turnover. Trevor Woods has been outstanding. He's one of the few players that has come, that was back from last year's team. Seven tackles, a forced fumble, and an interception. Then here, Cooper and Shiloh Sanders making a play. They limited the big play down the field. It was dink and dunk. They were a bend, but don't break defense. But they limited it. And then also, Colorado has the turnover, the sudden change. They give up a touchdown. It really should be 17-7 right now. So mm. the defense has done a great job. The reality is Colorado is making TCU play their game plan. Ball out of Sanders' hand quick. Yep. They're not going to try to run between the tackles. It has to be to the outside. And defensively, don't allow some big plays. See if you can't make TCU make some mistakes. They're two for two in the red zone. They have five less penalties than TCU. And they've had possession for more than eight and a half minutes than the Horn Frogs had. Social media, certainly a buzz <laughs> about what Coach Prime and his bus have done today. Oh, wow. Look at some of these A-listers and what they are saying. Is that Reggie Jackson? D. Wade is over there. D. Paul Wade out here. here. I see a big star. Okay, Philip, oh, yeah, I see Philip Lindsay, former buff over there as well. AJ Brown. Everybody tapped in. We're sure all right. Start Wendy there. today to pick up your kick it with Fox Big Noon Drink Cup. Scan to enter for a chance to win instant prizes, and you'll be entered into a weekly grand prize. This week's grand prize, a trip to a big noon game and the chance to hang out with us. Well, you know that's that? where you want to be. Yeah. And who knows? Maybe Mark will tackle you. Highlights <laughs> around week one when we return. For number two, Michigan, no Harbaugh, no problem. And Tennessee has its offense running at mid-season levels. Jake from State Farm. I really want that personal price plan, so I'll admit it. I'm a bath bomb guy. Dude, you do not need to get that personal. The State Farm personal price plan simply helps you create an affordable price just for you. For real? Who's ready for their jazz bath? No? <laughs> Who is that guy? Jazz, man. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor.
State Farm is there. When football was introduced, Arby's and boneless wings weren't a thing. Now they are a thing. And eating $5 boneless wings with fries is the most popular sport in America. Arby's, we have the meat. Critics agree, the Equalizer 3 is the best of the franchise. Denzel Washington is the baddest man on the planet. It's the jaw-dropping, pulse-pounding, best action movie of the summer. You're welcome. The Equalizer 3, now playing in theaters. Rated R. Saturday, it's baseball night in America on Fox. Harper and the Phillies fight for a spot in the NL Wild Card as they take on Yelich and the Brewers. Or Correa and the Twins battle Seager and the Rangers. It's Baseball Night in America, tonight at 7 Eastern on Fox. My friends always ask me what's so special about the University of Colorado. There's a whole lot of things. Prime faculty. Prime experiences. Prime research. Prime alumni. Prime mascot. They forgot one thing. Prime location. What are we talking about? Crap, 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 crap. Everyone's talking about Crapopolis, the new comedy from Dan Harmon, co-creator of Rick and Morty. You still can't die, right, Mom? Of course I can't die. I'm a goddess. What kind of idiot are you? Witness the start of civilization. I swear it's not as bad as the name sounds. All that look. Crapopolis, special premiere September 24th after football. Crap chain. Part of animation domination on Fox. This is one of those times. This is one of those moments. We getting ready to go out there and give it everything we got. Who ready? I'm ready. Who ready? I'm ready. But well, give me my third theme music. The best in all of college football. It's time! It's time! The second game of our Fox doubleheader features Quinn Ewers and 11th ranked Texas as they host Rice. The Longhorns are preseason favorites to win the Big 12. Welcome back to the State Farm Fox College Football Halftime Show like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Those fans just outside are set. Still believing in the Horned Frogs, even though they're down at the break. Michigan will not have Jim Harbaugh on the sidelines for the first three games after a self-imposed university ban stemming from alleged violations during the COVID-19 dead period. Today, the second-ranked Wolverines hosting East Carolina. J.J. McCarthy in the, the little arts and crafts free Harbaugh shirt. So Jesse Mint, Michigan, the, go blue. The D coordinator. Oh, you know how he's running back. Power. Bounce it outside straight to the crib. Blake Corm. NFL looks, ready. There you go. To the crib. He looks healthy. He does look healthy. Oh, feed it to him again. <laughs> feed the beast. Get it to him. You want to win? Put Corm in. <laughs> Corm, six carries, 56 yards, and a touchdown. Ooh, about 10 yards a carry? J.J. McCarthy, two guys, 16 to 18, 180, and a couple of touchdowns to Roman Wilson in the first half. Go Blue making the statement. Number 25, Iowa, on FS1, hosting Utah State. Cade McNamara, oh, the former it, Cade. Wolverine, now a Hawkeye, and here he is downfield, a Seth Anderson. Was questionable coming into this game, but he makes the start already, making some connections with some new friends. And Rob, how about some old friends? This touchdown pass off the flag fake to Eric All for the tutty. Yeah, that was on fourth and goal. 13 to 20, 115, two touchdowns for McNamara. Virginia at 12th ranked Tennessee. Joe Milton the third. That is one big human being who can spit that rock, Dylan, let me tell you. Oh, show the running back some love. Give it to him and finish it. Dylan Sampson from nine yards out, 7-0 in the second quarter. Milton to Ramel Keaton, 41-yard pickup. Oh, he makes it look so easy. Man. He just flicks it out there. Yeah, I mean, physically, he's as talented as anybody in the country. And really, the story of the first half of Tennessee was the run game, rushing for almost 200 yards, six yards per carry. Yeah, 302 total yards of Tennessee offense. Kentucky, Ball State, second quarter. Ball State down three. We've got a... Oh, 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 oh. score. <laughs> Coughed it up. Jalen Geiger, 69 yards. He's got Wildcats. Oh my goodness. 
Last season, a season to forget for Oklahoma. They start the campaign at number 20, hosting Arkansas State. Our guy, Drake Stoops. There he is. Oh, that Four is Stoopsie. 56 and a touchdown. Our boy Stoopsy. Later in the first, off the punt, Gavin Freeman takes it up the middle. Oh, what you going to do with it? Oh, we going to get missing with it. Could it be to the crib? Oh. <laughs> 82 oh. yards. Did you ever return punts in your career? In high school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan Gabriel, 19-22, 308, two touchdowns. All oh, Sooners okay. at the break. My Le goodness. Left-handed. Back to the Big Ten. Purdue hosting Fresno State. Second quarter, 14-7 game. Jalen Moss, eight-yard touchdown. We're tied at nice 14. Good job. Hudson Card, the new QB at Purdue, the former Longhorn. And he finds Deion Burks in the end zone from 17 out. Purdue up 28-17 in the third. Next Saturday, catch Big Noon kickoff live from Boulder as Deion Sanders and the Buffs play their first home game against longtime rival Nebraska. What a scene we're expecting in Boulder next week, Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern, right here on Fox. Coach, what's key in the second half here in Fort Worth? If I'm telling, if I'm in that locker room with the Colorado Buffaloes, hydrate, 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 that's the only way you lose this game if you get worn out. The other thing, we're witnessing something I have not seen in many, many years. Travis Hunter has played 65 plays, 41 on offense, 24 on defense. He's only given up one completion after five targets. And listen to this, seven catches, 42 yards. My man, get some IV in him, some G2 Gatorade, and get him the pill the second <laughs> he half. He must have he seen that game. playbook. He saw that. The, the, the man is at, as advertised. He is he a is. real dog, yeah. just he like Prime said. Colorado and better. he's open twice down for right. Yeah. Colorado better than all of us expected. I yes. saw the first practice. half. The yes. second half, they've got For to maintain. Sure. They For got sure. To maintain. And remember, TCU last season, all the come-from-behind victories they had, they were a second-half team. The former five-star Alabama running back, Trey Sanders, with two touchdowns, but it's not enough. TCU down three, second-half kick on the backside. The fact that, like, we all actually rock with each other, you can't fake it. Young energy, young takes. We fly. We all look good. Who the biggest hater on the show? Joy. <laughs> Yes. The language of sports fans is hostility. And that happens to be my love language. <laughs>
throw up deuces and make one thing clear. We've always been greater than 12. Welcome back to Fort Worth, Texas. Big Noon Saturday is sponsored by AT&T Business Next Level Moments. The, the Next Level Network. What a first half, 17 to 14. Colorado leading TCU. Gus Johnson along with Joel Clad. J.K., is this remarkable that Deion Sanders <laughs> And this Colorado team is leading at halftime with all these new guys yeah. and all the hype surrounding this program, taking on a team that played in the national championship last year. Yeah, I think it is. Even with all the hype, you know, I mean, we, we've all been talking about it. We've all been wondering. I told you at the beginning of the game that we would all find out together. And guess what we found out? Colorado's for real. They've got some players out there, and, and they made some plays. Let's take a look at some of those next-level moments of the first half, sponsored by AT&T Business. Next-level moments need the next-level network. This was the first touchdown. You see the, mis, uh, the mismatch there. Linebacker never gets outside. Dylan Edwards is in for the touchdown, and then Shadur Sanders was sensational. 22 of 28 for 182 and a touch. He, uh, he was brilliant with his mind and his accuracy, but it was a turnover late in that half from Colorado. The young back Dylan Edwards put it on the ground, and Trey Sanders paid it off, got into the end zone. That's really where we stand. Colorado goes down and gets a field goal, and they take the lead, but that's really the only reason that TCU is within a score here. You know, and, and Coach Prime has got to be so excited with the way that his guys are not only competing, but playing up front, both defensively and offensively. Those rush yards, I know they only have 38, but they've been timely. I, if I was TCU, the concern for me would be the offense has not found any rhythm. Now, it was similar last year against Colorado in the first half. They got it cooking in the second. We'll see if they can duplicate that here this year. Look at the time of possession battle, almost 18 minutes for the Buffaloes, and they'll get the ball to start the second half. Let's go downstairs to Jenny Tab. Well, sometimes I feel like Joel actually has the conversation with Sonny Dykes because that is exactly what he said in terms of what isn't working for their offense. They have not been able to find that rhythm. And overall, he said, I just don't know what we were doing in the first half because that was not TCU football. We didn't execute. We had seven penalties, a missed field goal. We kind of shot ourselves in the foot. I specifically asked him about the body language. It felt like the guys were a bit defeated going into the locker room. He said they came back in much better spirits. He is not concerned about the way they respond here. But overall, they've got much to improve upon in the second half. All right, thank you very much, Jen. First down and 10 for Shadour Sanders. And this Buffalo offense, Dylan Edwards splits out wide. Now he comes back into the backfield and joins Shadour Sanders. Flag on the play. Delaying offense, five-yard penalty, first down. That's the worst as a quarterback. Because you think to yourself, like, I, it's the first play. I wasn't even paying attention to the play clock. And by the way, neither Correction. was the sideline. Prior to the penalty, Colorado's called first time out of the half. Oh, wow. Wow. They did. They away. were paying attention, and they do get a timeout over there. Boy, in a, in a close game, though, those second half timeouts, they are so valuable to waste one now. You don't want to do it, but certainly don't want to start Especially coming right out of the locker room. Exactly. Exactly. From halftime. Well, you take a look at this matchup and what has gone on with Colorado has the ball, and it's really been about getting the ball to the playmakers. And one of those playmakers, Travis Hunter, yeah. Jimmy Horn Jr. for Colorado. And Travis Hunter is our good hands playmaker. Sponsored by Allstate, you're in good hands. Over 60 snaps, several catches already, seven of them. Drew a P.I. in the end zone, only allowed one catch when he was on defense in five targets. He's been right in the middle of everything going on. And I know Coach Prime is proud of the way that Travis Hunter has been playing so far. So first down and 10. Here's Sanders. Guns it over toward the near side. It's caught out of bounds. Xavier Weaver. Yeah, this, but there is a flag. This is going to be illegal touching because Weaver was not contacted 
He's over on the sideline. He stepped out. The official threw his hat. That's why the official doesn't have his hat on right now. So, and then he comes back and he's the first to touch the ball. That's what I would assume is going on right now. Illegal touching. Offense number 10. Went out of bounds on his own. Came back in, was first to touch. Lost it down. Second down. Here's Weaver. Just loses his... his kind of spatial awareness and man that is close just his toe ever so slightly on that paint on that side hat came off and penalty comes out second down and 10 Sanders here's a little screen and they find Edwards he breaks it back with running room on the ball Edwards down the sideline Dylan Edwards Touchdown, Colorado! 75 yards! What a way to start the second half for the Buffaloes as they try to put TCU to sleep. I tell you, Dylan Edwards comes out, but he outruns his offensive line right there, and he realizes, oh, I better get back in the pocket. He skips back behind the offensive line, gets a block from Wilty, and then he was gone. Coach Prime told us that this kid was going to make a big play, not if, when, and he just did. Out of the halftime, they give him a chance, and he goes the distance. Jace Feely in to attempt the extra point, and it's good. 24 to 14. Colorado ready to shock the college football world. Can't sleep. Just a lot on my mind. I can't sleep either. It only gets tougher with age. Mom, what? Well, knowing Progressive can protect your home, auto, and business should help you relax. Good, because I could use a good night's sleep. Me too. You know how early a chimney sweep gets up every day? Wait, is this all a dream? Why would Jamie be in my dream? I am America's biggest spokesperson. Debatable. I said biggest. Well, he's got you there. Oh, I'm so glad we did this. So glad we did this. I'm so glad we did this. Life is for living. Let's partner for all of it. I'm so glad we did this. Edward Jones. Panera's You Pick 2 means when part of you wants crispy, crunchy, fresh, and part of you wants melty, smoky, peppery. Both yous win big. You pick two and get more. Only at Panera. $1 delivery fee on our app. Introducing IHG One Rewards, 18 hotel brands, 6,000 global destinations, one loyalty program that lets you guess how you guessed. A car like this shouldn't exist. Something this big, this luxurious, shouldn't move like a Mazda. And yet, it does. <laughs> Oh my god, it sounds epic as well! This car is an SUV with bragging rights. The all-new three-row Mazda CX-90. Big Dude Saturday is sponsored by Edward Jones. Life is for living. Let's partner through all of it. And by Mazda. Welcome back. Shocking start. To the second half as Colorado just explodes for a huge touchdown on the screen with Dylan Edwards to give the Buffaloes a 24 to 14 advantage. I tell you, the, the most rare thing in sports is is for when there is hype that seems like like it is to a hundred for things and people to live up to that hype. Dion lived up to the hype as a player, and so far, this team has lived up to the hype so far in this game, although kicking that out of bounds does not help. Now, 
Jones, kicking team, number 17. TCU right. is elected to put the ball at the 35-yard line, first down. Let's go downstairs to Jen. I know we've been telling the story of Coach Prime and Dylan Edwards, how they've known each other forever. Now, Coach Prime told him, I'm leaving Jackson State. I am coming for you, and you know I want you to go wherever I go. Now, Dylan Edwards calls him family, like a father figure in many ways. And by the way, Edwards, his goal is becoming an All-American as a freshman. He wants the Buffs to get back to prominence. So far, so good, guys. All right, thank you very much, Jen. 24-14, TCU down at home. And they run the football with Bailey. Bailey with a lane and goes down at the Colorado 30. Monty Bailey stopped by Miles Slusher. That's a gain of 34 yards. Great run right there, and it comes after a broken tackle. Great job. Strong running right there through the arms of Bentley and down the field. First down and 10 at the 30. And... Morris just puts that one on the money to J.P. Richardson. Richardson doing a nice job. Shidel Sanders with the tackle. I'll tell you, that run game was pretty successful in the first half. I would be surprised if they didn't go back to it more often here in the second half. Morris again looking in zone. Caught. Touchdown. Jared Wiley. And just like that, TCU marches it straight down the field. 24 to 20. Looks like we got a good old-fashioned Big 12 offensive explosion in front of us. What a great adjustment from Wiley. He goes inside the safety Trevor Woods who can never get back into phase. And how about the catch? Wiley, huge player. He's 6'7", 260 pounds and shows off the hands. Beautiful throw, great catch. And TCU answers the score. They go right down the field. Replays covering 65 yards. They score in 45 seconds. Here's a question. Was Jarrett Wiley's knee down prior to getting into the end zone? I thought that was I thought that was pretty clean, Gus. Okay, you, you know, they they got it. Touchdown, TCU. Extra point is up and good. 24-21. Explosion to start the third quarter. Both teams finding the end zone. Three-point game. Seven, this goat done took over our office. And he's using it to send out medical bills. Good hands. Hospital bill for Prime. Yeah. Did you just say gap? He's talking about expenses health insurance doesn't cover. Good thing Coach Prime knows about said one time. Aflac. Because Aflac gets you money to help close that gap. Now how do we get this goat out of here? Aflac. Meet one of my new homies. <laughs> get help with expenses health insurance doesn't cover at Aflac.com. Elephant would have been scarier. Rated E for everyone. Play closer. Closer to curl. Closer to the roar. Closer to Grealish. Easy. <laughs> closer to Jumbo. Play closer to these icons. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. EA Sports FC24. Play closer on PS5. Play closer. This is the hotel breakfast. It looked different online. Do you children like eggs? Yeah, they make your bones grow. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's gonna be fine. Mm. All right, guys, look alive. Is it fine, Daryl? I'm starving. When free hot breakfast can make or break your day, it matters where you stay. Go get them. Hampton by Hilton. Hilton for the stay. 
Big Noon Saturday is sponsored by Aflac. Get help with expenses health insurance doesn't cover. And by Hampton by Hilton. Hilton for the stay. Tonight, it's baseball night in America on Fox. The fight for the postseason is on as Bryce Harper and the Phillies take on Christian Yelich and the Brew Crew. Or the Twins go up against the Rangers. As the action tonight at 7 Eastern on Fox, check for the game in your area. We've got a game right here, folks. 24-21, Colorado leading TCU, a team that lost to Georgia in the national championship game last year. They send it away. Edwards, the deep man, and he'll let it go out of the end zone for a touchback. Let's check in with JT. Well, guess you heard me ask Coach Prime about Travis Hunter before the break, and obviously this guy is dynamic on offense, on defense, and I had a conversation with Hunter before this game. I flat out asked him about the Heisman hype, and he said, well, yeah, I believe I should win the Heisman. I have the talent. I have the confidence. It's who I am. He posted a photo on social media with Heisman loading. The guy has all the confidence in the world but when you can actually live up to the hype that's saying something about you you're absolutely right first and 10 of the 25 Sanders over the middle caught for first down and guess who Travis Hunter what do you think Joel is Travis Hunter a better wide receiver or a better defensive back uh, here's the best compliment I can pay him I don't know wow I I, I really don't I, I think that it's more rare as you see that ball knee down in control definitely right ruling there but I, it's more rare to find a great corner especially at this level than guys that can do what he does at wide receiver but you know the catches that he's made the body you know contortion the way that he has manipulated his body I, I don't know what he's better at I think that he's an elite player on both sides of the ball he just it's not just that he can he's an elite player on, on both, both sides that's of the right ball. that's exactly right Seven catches, 42 yards, one reception allowed, and five targets. And just like Deion Sanders when he was a player, when Hunter is on defense, that whole side is taken away. Yeah, I mean, it's it's close. They're looking to see if he caught this. You know, I, he's getting to that point as a corner, and then as a wide receiver, clearly a go-to coming inside. So he's got control in a football move, an element of time. Now he's down. I would, I would expect this to be a catch. So it's not reviewing for a fumble as much as they're saying, did he complete the process? I believe that he did with that reach and turn up the field. Okay, I'll take a look here. Been deliberate at times in replay so far today. Travis Hunter was a finalist for the Jerry Rice Award as the transfer from Jackson State. That award given to the top player in FCS. I think, Gus, if you don't mind me jumping in on that, like the challenge is going to be attrition. Just how many snaps can you expect him to play at the elite level? He is an elite player, okay, but can you do that? A hundred times? I don't. I don't know. Um, can you do that a hundred and fifteen times in this heat? I. Man, I. I see. He even says, "I don't know either." Joel throws his arms out. That's the question. That's that's the question for me, and that's where they will have to. You know, Coach Prime knows he did it. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. First down. Did you play both ways in high school? I mean, that's like high school. Though. <laughs> you know, and and one of those positions was quarterback. That's right. You know, I wasn't running around like a wide receiver. He is running routes and then and has to play turn DB. around and play corner and basically run those routes in reverse. Unbelievable. I can't imagine the physical Fitness. shape yeah, he's got to be in. First down and 10 at the 36. Sanders hands it off straight ahead. Wilkerson. He'll push the pile forward and pick up four yards. Boy, every time that they can get just a sneaky four yards in the run game, they, they are so happy on that side because they don't feel like that's a strength. They're trying to find moments to run the ball, create shorter mm -hmm. situations, and they've done it. Second and six, Sanders winds up the deep ball down the field. Incomplete. 
This time it's Xavier Weaver, the intended receiver. And one thing about this Colorado offense with Shadur Sanders at quarterback, he has not been afraid to take a shot. No, and, and what I love about it is that he takes the shot at the right time when the defense gives him that look. Earlier in the game, I said this offense had to run through his mind, and it has. The ball has gone to the right spot almost every single snap because of his intelligence. Third and six, though, at the 40. Here's the run. Wilkerson, first down and more as he crashes forward and gets inside TCU territory. Avery Helm had to hold on. I tell you, what a great run from Wilkerson there. Finds the edge, shows off some speed, and then right at the line to gain, he had to lower his pads and physically finish, and he did it. First down at midfield, Wilkerson again. So running back by committee today for Colorado. You've had Hankerson, Wilkerson, Dylan Edwards all getting an opportunity to carry the rock. You know, this is a defense that last year struggled in terms of allowing big plays. Their offense certainly got them, 91 of them of 20-plus yards, but their defense gave up 89. That was 130th in the country, and they've given up some big plays here today. This is a defense that wanted to prove, come out, we've talked about chip on their shoulder, wanted to prove that they were better than what they showed in their last three games a year ago. 24-21, player down, back in a moment. GEICO makes car insurance easy. Enjoy your flight. You too. As easy as saying the wrong thing. Me too. Really? What? Dad, why would you say that? Why would you say that? Do I look like I'm going on vacation, sir? It's not how airports work, man. You you could? Dad. Are we leaving or? I don't even want to go on vacation anymore. I thought I knew you. She has hairspray that is over the limit. With an app that puts your policy in your pocket, it's easy to GEICO. And you're not wearing socks. Get a grip, man. I have type 2 diabetes, but I manage it well. It's a little pill with a big story to tell. I take one daily Jardiance. At each day start, as time went on, it was easy to see. I'm lowering my A1C. Jardiance works 24-7 in your body to flush out some sugar. And for adults with type 2 diabetes and known heart disease, Jardiance can lower the risk of cardiovascular death, too. Jardians may cause serious side effects, including ketoacidosis that may be fatal, dehydration that can lead to a sudden worsening of kidney function, and general yeast or urinary tract infections. A rare life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction, and don't take it if you're on dialysis. Taking Jardians with isoplanurea or insulin may cause low blood sugar. Jardians. Michelin equips more than 8 out of 10 electric vehicle manufacturers in the U.S. because game-changing cars deserve game-changing tires. Michelin. Motion for life. Have fun, sis. Can't stop adding stuff to your cart? Get the Bank of America Customized Cash Rewards Card. Choose the online shopping category and earn 3% cash back. Saturday is Baseball Night in America on Fox. Harper and the Phillies take on Yelich and the Brewers. Or Correa and the Twins battle Seager and the Rangers. It's Baseball Night in America tonight on Fox. Next week, primetime returns at big noon when Deion Sanders and the Buff host Matt Rule and the Huskers as the two biggest coaching hires of the offseason face off in Boulder. Jenny Joel and I will be joined by the big noon kickoff crew Saturday 10 a.m. Eastern only on Fox. New attendance record today here in Fort Worth 53,294 a TCU record. Second down and eight at the 48. Shadur Sanders reverses his field. Buys time, stops, starts, looks, fires, and caught for first down at the 35. Xavier Weaver, look at the manipulation of the defense by Shadur. I tell you, this, this guy has played an unbelievable game up to this point, and to be on the same page with a brand new offensive play caller and coordinator in Sean Lewis, 
I tell you, that Sanders is remarkable. And listen, you can recruit all the talent you want. You can bring in all the talent you want, the skilled position players, positions, excuse me, but Gus, it doesn't work unless you've got a point guard who can distribute the rock. And this guy has been dishing the rock as well as anybody here today. 25 of 32, 280 yards and two touchdowns, no picks. Sanders, and he's sacked this time. TCU brought the heat. Caleb Fox. That's a good rush right there from TCU. They get after it on the edge. First is Hodges, then it's Fox. He's in there, and he gets to Sanders. He had some time in the first half. No chance right there. Beautiful rush from the outside first, and then Caleb Fox to finish it off. So that'll make it third down and 17 at the 43 for Colorado. They've been exploiting the middle of the field right here with Jimmy Horn or the slot players. Sanders, quick throw underneath, and it's Dawson, and he's tripped up immediately and taken down. Well done, Abe Kamara, with the tackle, a loss of one. Great job by that defense, changing up the look. Sanders had just made a great play, but they change up the look. He drops back to pass, they bring the pressure, and then they won the one-on-one -on -one matchup in the pass rush opportunity, get to him, and now they force a punt. Good series there from the D. Mark Vassett will punt from the 41-yard line. Jojo Earl is the deep man at his own 10. End over end kick. And it'll bounce into the end zone for a touchback. Well, actually, it bounces out at the one-yard line. What a punt. So Vassett pins TCU deep. What a beautiful punt. And I know it's a little luck of the bounce right here. Look as it takes off and just inside the pylon. That's why the official stands right there. He knows exactly where it goes. He's looking on top of the pylon, and it's out inside the one. How about that bounce? Wow. So TCU had to huddle in their own end zone. First down and 10 for Chandler Morris and the Horn Frogs. <laughs> Bailey trying to give him some room. He'll push the pile forward and get to the five. Marvin Ham, first man to him. Got to get a first down or to reestablish field position. That's what you're trying to do. When you get a little breathing room like this, this is the the perfect time to try to get a little play action, maybe get your quarterback outside of the pocket and sneak a ball to the tight end or a back in the flat. Gain of four, second down and six. Snap infraction. Offense number 53, half the distance to the goal, second down. Just a little flinch, I believe, up front. The center, John Lands, just turned the ball. And that backs him up half the distance there. Second down and eight, then. From the three-yard line. <laughs> Daly in the pistol formation. They'll give it to him straight ahead. Watch out. Daly, oh, what a move. Down the sideline. He's got blockers. Cuts it inside, and it'll go down deep in Colorado territory. Travis Hunter, Shiloh Sanders with the saving tackle. That's a beautiful read from Bailey. He saw that hole, took off, but it was the move at the second level, that jump cut, that really sprung him for the big run. Well, first down after the 74-yard run. They'll get it to the 20. Marvin Ham with the stop on Morris. Boy, that's exactly what they needed. Another spark here. We've seen them fizzle out. They missed a field goal today. They threw an interception in the end zone. So we've seen them down in scoring territory and missed those opportunities. 
you don't get them all the time. So when you get into these positions, you got to execute and put points on the board. Second down and eight at the 21. Here's a delayed handoff to Sanders. Trey Sanders, to Trey Sanders looking for that first down. Gain six on the play. Make it third down and two. That light front up front for Colorado. That was a concern, and you can see running straight at that Buffalo's defense is what's starting to work. Sanders again. Levanta Bentley. First man to him, but it's a first down. For the Horn Frogs. Big time run. 74 yards to set this TCU team up. First and 10 at the Colorado 13. Morris pump fake. Jump pass. Incomplete. I think they were looking for Wiley again there. He's the mismatch. And I think he's going to take a break here 19. He's the one that caught the touchdown in the last series. And he is going to take a break. So he'll come out of the game. You know, Morris took another hit. And he was trying to get himself loose in the pocket. Look as he kind of goes up and he gives a little jump throw. That's certainly not what you want. Got to stay on the ground here. We've got to find a mismatch here with Wiley now on the sideline. Second down and 10 at the 13. Morris underneath, and he put that one right on the money. Great throw in traffic, making the catch is Jack Besh. Beautiful catch, beautiful throw right there. Inside was wide open. They took advantage. Third down, Morris. Intercepted. Wow! Travis Hunter. Unbelievable. Hunter just plucks it out of the air. Are you kidding me right now? That was wide open from the booth. A hundred times out of a hundred. I see that action from up here. That's a touchdown. They had the back wide open. Major Everhart, number 22. And out of nowhere, Hunter comes off of his route and dives for the interception. Holy cow. Primetime player playing for Coach Prime here today. A star revealed. In Fort Worth, 24-21, Buffs with the ball. More shopping? You should watch your spending, honey. I'm saving with Liberty Mutual, Mom. They customize your car insurance, so you only pay for what you need. Check it out. You could save $700 just by switching. Ooh, I'll look into that. Let me put a reminder on my phone. Save $700. Pick up Dad from airport. Oh, only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. 180, 180. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Who do you even play for? T-Mobile. T-Mobile has plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade money every year. That's good play, Colin. Cheers. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. It was our first time in Kyoto. Oh, yeah, it was a whole new thing for us. We stayed in a room in Takashi's home. We told Takashi that we wanted to go to a nice sushi restaurant. He was like, I can teach you. <laughs> I think that's where the sushi party started. It was so funny. You got pretty good at it. Yeah, I think I'm quite talented. <laughs> at PNC Bank, you can find us in big cities and small towns across the U.S., where our focus is to always support the people who live and work there. Because you call these communities home, and we do too. PNC Bank. Need to hit the road if we're gonna beat the traffic. All right. What? What? Uh-uh. Maybe we'll just beat the traffic tomorrow? This is one of those times. This is one of those moments. We getting ready to go out there and give it everything we got. Who ready? I'm ready? Who ready? I'm ready. But give me my third theme music. The best in all of college football. It's time! 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 It's time. It's time.
So TCU goes 95 yards, no points because of this young man. And I tell you, coming off of the wide receiver and laying out and then the body control and, and the knowledge to roll over so that ball doesn't hit the ground, that was incredible. And they'll drop it off to the tight end. Harrison, Michael Harrison Jr. Because I, I just remember when he committed last year, number one overall recruit in the country, he committed to Jackson State, and everyone was like, why? What, what, what are you doing? He's like, what do you mean? I'm going to play for him. Right. And then he followed him to Colorado, and we're seeing the fruits of that here today so far. Second down and six at the seven. How could you not want to play for Deion Sanders? Period. Here's a handoff. Nice tackle. Hodge making that tackle as he stands up. Dylan Edwards. Look at this relationship. One of the greatest of all time. Talking to a young man that wants to be great. Look at that. You know how much confidence that would give you? Oh, my gosh. Man, when he looks at you like that, my goodness. I go along, back a long way with Coach Prime. Back to our CBS days when he was a sportscaster with CBS. What a not only great man, but a good man. Third down and six at the seven. His son throwing it up top. Incomplete. Put that one on the money. Uh, and Horn Jr. just couldn't hold on to it. Boy, they had the they had the concept and they had the matchup that they wanted. Shadour Sanders' accuracy is something. Yeah, Joel. he's been absolutely phenomenal today so far. That ball was thrown on the money. They had the matchup against Mark Perry. Horn won and really should have brought that one in. It wasn't too far. He didn't have to leave his feet, and they'll have to punt it away. And TCU can expect really good field position here. Bassett punting out of his own end zone. That ball takes a bounce and will be downed at the 37. 56-yard point uh, punt. And it's miscues today for TCU. They have left some points on the board. Now, this was the interception early. Trevor Woods came across and intercepted Chandler Morris. This was the pushed field goal. Went wide right, led to a field goal the other direction. I don't, you know, like... I don't know if that's a miscue or just like that's an unbelievable play by a great player. You know, Chandler Morris is going to throw that ball 100 times out of 100, and it wasn't even a poor throw. I didn't even think it was late. Hunter just made an incredible play. And one thing we also have to point out is on the 74-yard run, Hunter tracked the man down to keep him from getting into the end zone. Yeah, you're right. You're exactly right. TCU going back to that middle of the defense. Because I, I said it on the last series, I'll say it again. I feel like that's that's where TCU should live in this second half. I know it's not pretty, but it's still only a three-point game. The middle of that run game is where they're going to make some hay. Then you can get to play action, get to the tight end, and get to those zones behind the linebackers. Second down and seven, Morris. Incomplete. <laughs> Ball intended for J.P. Richardson, who's had a fine game. Slusher, defensively. I would just continue to say Colorado's strength is the secondary. They love their safeties. They love their corners. And the more times TCU throws the ball, the more Colorado, and that's a, that's a false start there. Boy, that's a huge miscue. On third and seven. False start. Offense number seven. Five-yard penalty, third down. This is not what Kendall Bryles had in mind when he came over, coordinated at Arkansas a year ago. Now he's here at TCU, and he's stepping in for Garrett Riley, who had all that success with the Heisman runner-up, Max Duggan, and Quentin Johnston, and Kendry Miller, and they felt like they reloaded in the transfer portal, and they've made some plays today. Don't get me wrong, but there also have been some big miscues as well. Fourth false start penalty for TCU today. Third down and a long 12 for Chandler Morris. Here's Morris in trouble. Drops it off. Won't be enough for first down as tight end 
Chase Curtis makes the grab, but there is a flag on the play. Yeah, I think Arden Walker, 53, took a, an ill-advised shot at the foul. quarterback. Roughing the passer, defense number 53. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. I mean, every defensive lineman should know on a third and long, the last thing you do, in particular, if the quarterback has thrown the ball, don't even, don't touch him. That one was close, flag comes out. He's right there. You just can't do that. You just can't do that. As, as, as much as we all lament the modern style rules in the, in the game, if the ball is away, do everything you can to avoid it. There's no reason to continue the hit, and in particular take the quarterback down to the ground, and that's a free first down, and now TCU across the 50 got to capitalize on that mistake. First down at the 42 of Colorado for the Horned Frogs. Morris. Steps into his throw. Put that one right in a great place for number 18, Jack Besh. Yeah, they really love Jack Besh. He transferred in from LSU, and you can see why. Very quick player, 6'2", 220. Beautiful hands there stretching out for that completion. First down to the 24, Morris tried to flip it away. And incomplete, he was under pressure. Besh, the intended receiver. You notice how much slower and more methodical TCU has been on offense. You can tell they just don't feel comfortable with the tempo that they had early in the game. So they've tried to slow it down. Now, they've been able to make some plays and get to some run game and find those completions in the intermediate zones. Second down and 10 at the 24-yard line. Imani Bailey in the backfield. They'll give it to him. Looking for a crease, and he won't find one. Stood up at the line of scrimmage. And driven backwards, they may give him a yard. I, I think Charles Kelly on the other side. He's the defensive coordinator for Colorado. He came in as an assistant for the last four years for Nick Saban, and comes in from Alabama. And I would venture a guess he's thrilled with the way that his defense has played so far. Third down and nine to the 23. Morris off his back foot over the middle. It's caught. First down and more. Touchdown, Galen Wright. As he skips into the end zone. And TCU takes a 27-24 lead. Their first lead of the game. Colorado sold out on the pressure. They're trying to get home and loop around, but they don't get there. And then you've got crossing routes against man-to-man -man coverage, and there's Dalen Wright. Beautiful move right there. Steps away from the tackle. Shiloh Sanders with a whiff, and there's TCU, and they're in the lead. And they finally come back, and they finally overcome some of those mistakes. Extra point up and good for Griffin Kell. 2.32 to play. Third quarter. Horn Frogs bouncing back. Dalen Wright, big time score. Ooh, there's only two chairs left. You better hurry. The power to get there in no time, that's what you'd expect from the ultimate electric driving machine. Not today, brother. Go, 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 go. You got this. Mom? You snooze, you lose. C'est la vie, as I always say. Dad, you've never said that before. Never. The BMW Electric Summer On Sales event is on now. Lease the 2024 BMW iXX Drive 50 for $7.99 per month now through September 4th. Dalen Wright with the touchdown to give TCU a 28-24 lead, 2.32 to play in the third quarter. That's capitalizing right there. How about Dalen Wright? Gus, didn't you love that move, stepping away from that tackle? Old school pros would call that giving him the lip leg. Oh, yeah, that's right. And the coolest part about it is that once you're away from the tackle, you're, you're going so slow that it looks just like, yeah, I meant to do that. I meant to do that. 14 unanswered points for TCU. Horn Frogs leading for the first time. Now we see how Deion Sanders' Buffaloes respond. Down for the first time in this game. His son is the quarterback, Shadur Sanders, who's been very efficient, played extremely well in this game. He's thrown two touchdowns. He's thrown for 200 and 
83 yards on 27 completions and 35 attempts. That front seven for TCU is starting to win, and they're starting to win in the pass rush and squeeze down the amount of time that Sanders has had in the pocket. First down at the 25, Sanders underneath slant route. Gain of six for Dawson. Gets up Gimpy. Jamoy Hodge came in hot there and laid the wood. And Hodge is a player, 6'2", 235 pounds from that inside linebacker spot. Whereas Dawson is only 165 on the outside. Fast fleet of foot, but bam, there. Just took that shot right in the back and got up slow. Second down and four. Sanders again. First down, Jimmy Horn, who's been terrific in this game. 11-yard pickup for Jimmy Horn, South Florida transfer. And that was off of a little run action. You could tell he could have handed that off, almost like a little run pass option. And the linebacker squeezes down, and Sanders is, finds the completion behind him. Horn, eight catches, 76 yards. Sanders goes deep once again. This time it's caught. Xavier Weaver camping under it. 44 yard gain. Weaver had a chance on the last series. Horns had a chance. They have been unable to connect, and now they finally do. Beautiful throw from Sanders. That was right on the money. Sanders again, near side, Horn. And Jimmy Horn knocked down by Camara. Sanders has thrown for over 300 yards now. Shadur Sanders, 31 of 39, 352 yards passing. And the ball has gone to the correct spot. Yeah, that's what I've been so impressed with is, is his ability to decipher what he sees on the defensive side and put the ball into the vacancy. Second and two at the seven. They pitch it out wide. Touchdown, Dylan Edwards. And just like that, Colorado responds. Boy, you see the speed from Dylan Edwards. This is why he was so highly recruited right here. Just an easy little toss out to the left side, the wide side of the field. Now, in order to do this, you better have guys that want to block on the outside. Look at Jimmy Horn. He's caught... How many passes today? Jimmy Horn, nine passes, and he's still in there, stock blocking at the goal line and allows Edwards to get into the end zone. What a good series. 27 seconds to go in the third quarter. Extra point up. And good. 31-28. Colorado responding. Let's go downstairs and check in with Jen. Well, we haven't seen TCU linebacker Namdi Obiizor for a couple plays now. Now, he's dealing with some cramping. He was getting some fluids, working on his right leg. Now, let me just tell you guys, I know we're talking about the heat. 106 on the field most recently. It's up to 133 on that white little tarp area in front of their bench. We are dealing with some pretty warm temps. We are only going up from here. And one more big quarter to go. End of the first, the third quarter, rather. Fourth quarter coming up. On that long pass, Gus, guess who threw the crucial block inside? That was Dylan Edwards, the little guy, right? I mean, and then he gets the toss on the outside. That's what you got to show. If you're a young running back, that's what you've got to understand. It's not just about outrunning people, getting big plays, and getting into the end zone three times, which he's been able to do. But, Gus, it's the dirty work that really makes an offense go. Stepping up, picking up a blitzing linebacker. He does that against Jamoy Hodge, number six. Gets rewarded for the touchdown after the long pass down the sideline. Cristiano Palazzo will kick it away for Colorado. Major Everhart is the deep man. He'll pick it up at the four. Everhart looking. And he'll get to the 20 before being ridden down. Well, this is exactly what we hoped for, Gus, right? Just kind of a shootout, excitement. Well, it is the Big 12. Well, it, and not fully yet, but yeah, well, it will be the Big 12 fully <laughs> well, next excuse year. Excuse me, you're right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, one more year. 
Colorado, of course, moving to the Big 12 in 2024, along with, I don't know, man, everybody. Everybody's Houston, moving. BYU. Yeah, everybody's moving. Well, Arizona, there. Arizona State, Utah. Everyone's going. There, there we go. Is. There we go. Everybody's moving, okay? Cincinnati, UCF. Going to be a crazy year. Morris in trouble. Turns the corner. Throws on the move. Ooh. Incomplete. He almost caught that, didn't he? Yes, he did. Man, these guys, these kids are making plays today, and I am here for it. Galen Wright. Dalen had that touchdown in the last series, gave him the dead leg, like you said, Gus. And if you're an offense, this is this is what you gotta love if you're an offensive player, if you're a quarterback. It's like, okay, we gotta go answer. Now, you know, at, at times, Gus, football becomes a little bit like the schoolyard. Well, this is where it's headed right now in the fourth quarter here today. Someone's gotta make plays. Second down and ten. They throw it into the flats. This time, JP Richardson turns it up. Knocked out of bounds by Omarion Cooper. And that'll take us to the end of the third quarter after the eight-yard gain. Colorado, do they have enough to hold on? 31 to 28, the score. Streaming now on Fox Nation. What made you decide that you want to speak out? Martha McCallum's exclusive interview with Buster Murdoch. I hold a very unique perspective that nobody in that courtroom ever held. The fall of the House of Murdoch. Streaming now on Fox Nation. Sign up now and get your first three months for $1.99. Who's reached peak fall? The DQ Fall Blizzard menu? Snickerdoodle cookie dough pumpkin pie? They're back! Cloud. Cardigan. Ooh, all that and fuzzy boots. They did it. Too much fall? Nah, peak fall achieved. DQ, happy tastes good. What if my type 2 diabetes takes over? What if all I do isn't enough? Or what if I can do diabetes differently? Now you can with Once Weekly Manjaro. Manjaro helps your body regulate blood sugar. And Manjaro can help decrease how much food you eat. Three out of four people reached an A1C of less than 7%. Plus, people taking Manjaro lost up to 25 pounds. Manjaro is not for people with type 1 diabetes or children. Don't take Manjaro if you're allergic to it. You or your family have medullary thyroid cancer or multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Manjaro and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, vision changes, or diabetic retinopathy. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis and gallbladder problems. Taking Manjaro with sulfonylurea or insulin raises low blood sugar risk. Tell your doctor if you're nursing, pregnant, or plan to be. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, which can cause dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. I can do diabetes differently with Mount Jaro. Ask your doctor about once weekly Mount Jaro. Wasn't it? You're never responsible for unauthorized purchases on your Discover card. Christian McCaffrey and the Niners take on the Steelers. Then in America's Game of the Week, Jordan Love leads the Packers against Justin Fields and the Bears. It's a huge week one doubleheader, September 10th on Fox. Big Noon Saturday is sponsored by AT&T Business. Next level moments need the next level network. We're ready to go to the next level, fourth quarter level that is, folks. 31-28, look at our score. First game for Deion Sanders as the head coach at Colorado against the team. Sonny Dykes, his team played in the national championship one year ago. And they'll swing it out into the flats. This time it's Savion Williams. And Williams goes out of bounds after gaining 16 yards on the play. Yeah, beautiful concept there from TCU. And Savion Williams has been quiet today. He's a guy 6'5", 225. You feel like he's he's got to touch the ball in this fourth quarter. And this offense has found their rhythm. 
three touchdowns in their last four drives. The only drive they were turned away was that great play by Travis Hunter. First down at the 43. Almost intercepted again. Jeez. This guy, Travis Hunter, a ball hawk. Gus, it's it's time for Kendall Bryles to tell Chandler Morris, like, don't can't, throw can't. to that side. I, I don't think you can. I don't think you can. Look at him. Mean, he's running routes for wide receivers. Look, he's he's a step ahead of the wide receiver right there. Well, that's what life was like for Deion Sanders when he was in his prime, especially in Atlanta. With the Falcons, they would not throw to his side. If they did, they knew it could cost him. Here's a trick play as Bailey runs it straight ahead. A little direct snap there to Bailey, trying the middle of that front. A little bit closer here for a third down. But here on third down, this is, this is when they've been able to connect here. And what they've done is they've really attacked with those slot players. Watch out for J.P. Richardson. He's in the slot bottom of your screen. Third down and five of the 48. Morris. And what a nice throw and catch. First down for the Horn Frogs. This time it's Chase Curtis. Good catch by Curtis. This ball a little over his head. He goes up and gets it. Knows he's going to have to get contacted right there, right at the chains, and he brings it down. First down of the 45-yard line. Or frogs will go to the ground. Bailey with a four-yard pickup. And you see the do you see the equation right now? You see the rhythm. Kendall Bryles is in. First down, try the middle of that defense. Then on second down, there's generally some sort of misdirection, maybe out of a play fake or just hammer away with the run game. Then on third down, that's when they attack with the slots. Second and six at the 41. Richardson. J.P. Richardson stopped by Omarion Cooper. Five-yard gain. Here they got to feel like they at least have the opportunity to still run it. But with Wiley back on the field, look at all those big guys. Look at all the tall guys bottom of your screen. A couple of tight ends, including Wiley, is on, on the field. Third down and three at the 38 of Colorado. Looking for the first down is Trey Sanders. He was short by about a foot, and we'll see what they do. I think they're going to go for it. There's no doubt. Colorado be, better be ready. They're going to snap it quick. Fourth down and one. Sanders trying to hit the edge, cuts it back inside, and gets a first down. Boy, beautiful cut by Sanders. You see as he was going over to the left side, watch he's going to go left, and then he's just going to cut right back upfield, right there. He understands what he needs to do. He's got to get to the 35-yard line, but unfortunately he's still down on the ground in some pain. All right, we'll take a break while they tend to it. 31-28. to wait until retirement to start enjoying your plans. With Pacific Life, imagine your future with confidence. For more than 150 years, we've kept our promise to financially protect and provide, so you can look forward to exploring your family's heritage with the ones you love. Talk to a financial professional about life insurance and retirement solutions with Pacific Life. I walk along the city streets you used to Walk along with me And every step I take Recall how much in love we used to be Oh, how can I forget you When there is always something left to Ooh, there's only two chairs left. You better hurry. The power to get there in no time? That's what you'd expect from the ultimate electric driving machine. Not today, brother. Go, 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 go. You got this. Mom? The snooze you lose. C'est la vie, as I always say. Dad, you've never said that before. Never. The BMW Electric Summer On Sales Event is on now. Lease the 2023 BMW i3 Drive 35 for $4.99 per month now through September 4th. It's official. Caleb Williams is transferring. My man. Yeah. To Wendy's for the new loaded nacho cheeseburger. Everybody say nacho. Nacho. It's melty. Right. It's crunchy. And it's queso. Yeah. Easiest choice I've ever made. Of course, he's not the only one transferring. Hey, oh. 
table's got room for two quarterbacks. Oh, yeah. Sorry, and who are you? Matt Leiner, quarterback, national champion. Afraid that doesn't ring a bell. For the full nacho experience from all four sides. Where's the beef? Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new loaded nacho cheeseburger. Big News Saturday is sponsored by Pacific Life, creating financial security for more than 150 years. Pacific Life Game Summary sponsored by Pacific Life, creating financial security for more than 150 years. Well, Dylan Edwards has made a splash today early in his career. True freshman, he's gotten in the end zone three times. Jared Wiley, beautiful catch. TCU has come back, but boy, Travis Hunter has been spectacular. He has an interception, a bunch of catches, and we've been back and forth in this second half, and it should be a good one here down the stretch, Gush. We've got 12-12 left, and this is going to be pretty. Morris hands it off, and Bailey just slicing through that Colorado defense. You know, this was the scene when Trey Sanders was down. Dion came out, gives him a tap on the head. That's Sonny Dykes, who also came out, check on his back. And then Sonny and Dion are going to share a moment right here. Look at this. Like, I love this. And meeting with these two guys, how good are those two guys? Oh, man, Sonny Dykes is the best. He is certainly the best. Far side, and it's Besh. Besh close to the first down. I remember when I was a young reporter, Joel, I covered the Southwest Conference Tour when I was at Waco, and I had a chance to meet Spike Dykes. Yeah. Big time coach, first big time coach I ever met. Nicest guy in the world. Third down and one. First down, TCU. Baby. Boy, they have, they have established that rhythm and that run game. That run game has been very good in this second half. And the cut right here, I love the cut from Amani Bailey. Oh, beautiful. Jump cut in the backfield. And this defense starting to wear down. Dion knows it. He's saying, we need to make tackles. But the problem is depth is a concern for this defense. And in the heat in the last 10 minutes, that's what's going to pop up. First down and 10 of the 19. And look at Morris. Touchdown. What a fake. Chandler Morris uses his legs and gets into the end zone. And TCU takes a 34-31 lead. Chandler Morris can move. How about this? Colorado screaming in from defensive line, but the ball handling, beautiful fake right there, and read from Morris, and then he gets a stock block from Besh on the outside and shows off his speed. Athletic player right down the seam and into the end zone. What a great series for TCU, who has found their footing on offense here in the second half. 14-play drive. The extra point for Kell is good covering 79 yards Horn Frogs eat up four minutes and 31 seconds the quarterback with wheels TCU back in front of Colorado like it or not humankind will end we should never have let AI out of the box did you locate the weapon? This can't be right. She's just a kid. My name is Alfie. You're my friend? She dies with the rest of them. I can't do that. She belts. The Creator. Rated PG-13. Only in theater September 29th. We love our house. It's on a great block, tree-lined streets. The neighbors are observant. And we're back at the Sullivan house. It's lawn day, Sheila, and the leaves are piling up. Ugh, bit of an eyesore. I'll say. Dry shave. Interesting technique. That's going to come back to haunt him. Some people clean while they cook, not these folks. At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. Saves us a ton. If only they'd bundled the leaves. You know, I wouldn't have pegged these two as yogis. I still don't. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. 
loves me. You're never responsible for unauthorized purchases on your Discover card. It doesn't matter how many times I'm right, you'll still argue with me. This is The Herd. This is the moment. This is the time. Who ready? ready. Who ready? I'm ready. Well, give me my darn theme music. The best in all of college football. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. What a game we're seeing here. 35-31. TCU back in front with 10.49 to go. Chandler Morris. As he showed a burst of speed to get into the end zone for the Horned Frogs. Remember, Morris was the starter in this game last year, got injured. Max Duggan came in and replaced him and led him all the way to the national championship game. Now it's Morris's turn. Horn Frog send it away. And this one into the end zone for a touchback. Gus Johnson along with Joel Klatt. JK, what a game. Yeah, this has been sensational. I, I think better than any of us could have imagined, really, uh, to be in this situation at this point in the game. Now, has it been great for TCU at times? No, they've had some miscues, but I think this second half has shown a lot about their quarterback Chandler Morris and this team overall because they've come out and played so much better. Obviously, the surprise is, I don't know if many people thought Colorado would be in this situation. Remember, there were a 20-point dog in this game coming in. So I know that they're surprising many, and I think that they got a little false start right there, and we'll false see how start. they react late in the game. Offense number 50, five-yard penalty, first down. That's Jack Wilty. Sophomore. You know, that Colorado defense, Gus, they played well and made some plays at times, but it, it, they don't have much left. And so for Colorado in this last 10 minutes and 49 seconds, they've got to think about two, maybe even three more scores if they want to win. Here's Sanders. Over the middle. Wow, what a catch by Xavier Weaver. It's like he caught that ball going backwards. And somehow kept his composure. It was a beautiful throw from Sanders. He had to layer it over the linebackers, and it was almost like a little bit of a free throw that he shot in there. Weaver did a nice job avoiding that big hit. 13-yard pickup on the play. Another flag. Snap infraction. Offense number 55. Five yards. Still second down. That's Van Wells. See, yep, there's the flinch, and he tries to play it off like he's just looking over. Officials having no part of it, and it backs him up. Second and seven. Sanders in trouble, and Sanders sacked. Well, a wonderful job by Oye Wale. I tell you, Paul Oye Wale, he comes across, slams Van Wells the center, knocks him to the ground, and then gets to the quarterback. That is just pure strength. 6'4, 275. They feel like he has a chance to be an outstanding player for them. A guy that can light up the stat sheet and make big plays, and he made a big play right there. Fourth sack of the day for TCU, and that gets their crowd into it. Third down and 16. 9 28 and counting. Shador Sanders looking, throwing it deep. Sanders! And it's caught at the 40. Guess who? Travis Hunter. A 39 yard gain on third and 16. What a adjustment 
The ball just a little bit short, and you see how he's got to stop and go back and then catch it through contact there with Avery Helm. That's outstanding stuff. Elite. Nine catches, 92 yards for Hunter on offense. Sanders with the handoff. Edwards breaks it back, and he'll gain a half yard on the play. 35-31, 8.40 to go. Deion Sanders criticized for turning over this roster, a team that was 1-11 a year ago. Second down and 10. Shadour sprints out, throws, caught. First down, Travis Hunter once again. How is he still running this fast and hard? Over 100 snaps today, and these are not just like regular snaps. These are at corner and wide receiver. And he goes up like that and catches the ball, taking hits. I've, I've never seen anything like this before. And how about Shadour Sanders? He's now thrown for over 400 yards. 34 42 418 two touchdowns no picks first and ten of the 26 sanders sprinting sets delivers touchdown colorado jimmy hart Dion's kick and play When the quarterback breaks the pocket, the wide receivers have to find space. Watch Horn, he's on a post route. He sees Sanders break the pocket and he says, all right, I'm gonna head back the other way. And he was wide open. Shadur made such a nice little adjustment back there. You see, he just slid over to his left, got himself in a position, and then he found his wide receiver wide open, hits him, and it's a touchdown. What a series. Four lead changes in the last four possessions. Feely in for the extra point, and it's good. 38-35. Shadour Sanders with some magic in his arms. And Tresto is the number one heart failure brand prescribed by cardiologists. It was proven superior at helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or aliskirin, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. There are people who say things aren't made here anymore. Those people should come to Michigan or Kentucky, or Missouri, where you'll find Ford workers, not just assembling vehicles, but building the future of automotive manufacturing. It's why Ford employs the most hourly auto workers in this country. Can't speak for the other guys, but we're all in on America. And Doug. What do we always say, son? Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance. They only pay for what you need. That's my boy. And you get out there and you make us proud, huh? Bye, Uncle Emu. Stay off the freeways. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Right now, get a free foot long at Subway, like the Subway series menu. Buy one foot long in the app, get one free. For free. That's what I'm talking about. Order in the Subway app today. The wait is over. Bring home the best Spider-Man film ever made. This is wild. Go deeper with over 90 minutes of immersive extras. I love it. You've never seen anything like it. Who's Spider-Man? The superhero? Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Buy it on Blu-ray Tuesday. Streaming now on Fox Nation. What made you decide that you want to speak out? Martha McCallum's exclusive interview with Buster Murdoch. I hold a very unique perspective that nobody in that courtroom ever held. The Fall of the House of Murdoch. Streaming now on Fox Nation. Sign up now and get your first three months for $1.99. Coach Prime, he's got his boys queued up for this opener. 
Made a lot of changes so far, though, paying off, especially with his young quarterback transferring from Jackson State, who, by the way, is his son, Shadur Sanders. And look what he's done in his debut. Most passing yards in his first start all time. Who's that guy in the bottom? <laughs> I don't know, but he didn't look like Shador did. I can tell you that. I don't know. You threw for four <laughs> bills. That's big time. They'll start from the five-yard line. Everhart. And here's Major Everhart galloping down the sideline. Major Everhart. Can he get there? Down at the five. Snap back TCU. Roderick Ward with the saving tackle. A return of 88 yards. We're throwing haymakers now. Now it's those championship rounds late in the fourth quarter. Everhart sees the seam over there on the left side and takes off. And man, he was shot out of a cannon. Shows off the speed. Kudos the hustle there from Colorado to actually get that one down. Even though it's all the way inside the 10. But my goodness, what a return. And the, um, the initial burst, Gus, on that left side, finding the hole, and boom, he was shot out of a cannon. 7.21 to go, 38-35 here in the fourth quarter. And Chandler Morris didn't like what he saw at the line of scrimmage, and he wants to talk things over with Kendall Bryles and the staff. Listen, Sonny Dykes is hot right now. He's talking to the official because TCU was ready to snap the ball, but at the initial part of the possession, because they huddle as a big unit where it's like you don't know exactly what personnel is in, the officials allow the defense to match up on the first snap. And because TCU ran out there so late, the officials were holding the snap and letting Colorado line up, and Sonny is not happy about it. And they had to burn a timeout in a three-point game inside of seven and a half minutes. And that's why he's so upset. Seven twenty-one to go. First and goal. TCU at the Colorado eight-yard line. Colorado be better fix that short side of the field, that left side. They've been giving up a lot of runs into that short side of the field. Sanders in the backfield. They'll give it to him, and he's down at the one. Trey Sanders has been physical. Shiloh Sanders with the tackle for Colorado. Give it to him again. They can't stop him if they go right down the middle. This defense is just too soft in the middle, and there he goes. Touchdown. Touchdown. Trey Sanders. Boy, tough to stop this guy when he gets the head of steam going. He goes over the right side right here. Good hole by the offensive line. Linebacker is trying to meet him right there at that red goal line, but you can't stop Trey Sanders at that point. Not with 222 pounds moving like he can move. Set up by an incredible return by Major Everhart, 88 yards, extra point is good. Three touchdowns for Trey Sanders. TCU back in front on their home field. From big cities to small towns, and on main streets across the U.S., you'll find PNC Bank. Helping businesses both large and small, communities, and the people who live and work there grow and thrive. We're proud to call these places home, too. They're where we put down roots. And where together, we work to help move everyone's financial goals forward. PNC Bank. Coach Saban, this goat done took over our office. And he's using it to send out medical bills. Good hands. Hospital bill for Prime. Yeah. Did you just say Gap? He's talking about expenses health insurance doesn't cover. Good thing Coach Prime knows about. Say it one time. Ah, flat. 
because Aflac gets you money to help close that gap. Now how do we get this goat out of here? Aflac! Meet one of my new homies. <laughs> get help with expenses health insurance doesn't cover at Aflac.com. Elephant would have been scarier. There's DNA. Then there's heavy duty DNA. H DNA. It's what every GMC Sierra HD driver is born with and it's engineered into every aspect of the GMC Sierra HD with the pulling power to prove it. The new 2024 GMC Sierra HD. Tow hitches of the world. Prepare for glory. 180! 180! Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, man. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Big Noon Saturday is sponsored by PNC Bank, rooted in communities big and small. Great atmosphere here in Fort Worth. Eamon G. Carter Stadium. TCU has scored a touchdown on five of their last six drives. Sanders with three touchdowns today. The Alabama transfer. 42 to 38. Colorado will get it again. Here's Edwards. And Edwards crosses the 15, gets up to the 17 before being brought down. Man, Colorado's made big plays in this second half. This was that screen route to Dylan Edwards. He took it the distance. That was the first possession of the second half. Xavier Weaver down the right sideline. Beautiful throw from Shador Sanders. That was another big play. This was a third down. Great adjustment by Travis Hunter. That moves the chains. And then the big play to Jimmy Horn. That has been the Achilles Hill for TCU, whether it was last year or now creeping into this first game, is giving up those big plays. Gaudy numbers for Shadour Sanders, 35 of 43, 444 yards passing, three touchdowns, no interception. In this game, the last five possessions overall have ended in a touchdown. We're now inside of almost six and a half minutes. Gus, last team with the ball, likely going to win this game. It's coming down to quarterback execution. Who can make the throws? Will someone make a mistake? And if you're on defense, can you find the time to get up there and get a turnover? Second down and nine. Sanders bouncing around underneath, and the ball is caught by Travis Hunter. What a day for this man. Unbelievable ball player. Travis Hunter. Over a hundred yards receiving now. Eleven catches for 119 yards. First and ten at the 31. Play action. Sanders. Incomplete. And a flag. A late flag throw. Avery Helm, Mark Perry in the vicinity for TCU. Now Avery Helm never really got turned around. The ball was underthrown. And then there was a hit by Perry. Defense number 24. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. That ball's underthrown, and that's the unfortunate position we see corners finding themselves in quite often, trying to catch up after getting beat deep just a little bit, and then making contact before the ball arrives. First down, Colorado at their own 46. They'll hand it off. Wilkerson trying to get outside, and he'll be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Obi Izor. You wonder with some of these run plays, Gus, and how methodical Colorado is being on offense, you know, remember how hyper-fast they were early. I wonder if they're trying to milk as much of this clock as possible, make a few plays, and try to leave TCU with no time. 
503 yards in total offense for Colorado. Horn, who's been excellent today. These receivers, Hunter, Horn, Weaver, have done a nice job of finding space. I think they've got two downs here. I don't think there's any way Coach Prime thinks that his defense is going to get the ball back if they have to punt it away. So I would believe Sean Lewis, the offensive coordinator, and Shador Sanders have two snaps here to try to move the chains. Third down and two. Empty backfield. Sanders looking. Guns it. Incomplete. He could have run it for the first down, Joel. Well, he had Johnny Hodges right in front of him, number 57. I don't know if he would have got there. He was trying to get that ball immediately out of his hand to the slot player, but Hodges was waiting for him. He tries to go down the field. Couldn't find his tight end, Harrison. So here we go. Fourth down and two at the 46. Can TCU get off the field? Sanders off his back foot caught first down and more down the sideline stop and start Edwards touchdown Colorado whoa Dylan Edwards changing speeds 46 yards This kid is an absolute firecracker, Dylan Edwards. Big play after big play. Four touchdowns. And what did his coach, who's been coaching him since he was in Little League, tell us? Dion's known him since he was about four years old, and he said, who's going to make a play? He said, oh, yeah, he's making a play tomorrow. No how doubt about, about it. How about four plays, coach? Mm. What a game for Edwards. Extra point. Is good. Shadur Sanders continues to put up spectacular numbers. Let's take a look at this touchdown, Gus. They go back to the first touchdown. Dylan Edwards caught this same concept. You've got man coverage right here. You're going to get a back out of the backfield, and you've got slant routes to take care of any of these players coming this direction. So here's the slant route. Sanders waits, and the linebacker is late. He delivers it. Edwards runs right through that and then it's just a foot race and he takes off exact same concept different formation of the first touchdown of the game they come back to it great play callers never get bored taking a profit and they always keep in the back of their mind what worked today that was the first thing that really worked for Sean Lewis he came back to it and it paid off huge there in the fourth quarter rolling the dice this Colorado team Led by their head coach, Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, his son, is thrown for over 500 yards and four touchdowns. 5'10", to be exact. Major Everhart, the deep man again, ran 188 yards the last time he touched it. This time, it's Shad Bank, and he'll cross the 20 up to the 22. For those of you looking for the Rice at Texas game, that is available on FS2 and streaming live on the Fox Sports app. Shador Sanders, 37 of 46, 5'10, 4 tucks. That's a school record. 510 yards this is, in his uh, debut. This is incredible. Wow. And like great throws Morris setting up and he'll just gun it out of play smart throw there he knew he was outside of the pocket and basically just threw it into the second round of the stance trying to save those yards because he was in trouble back there and he hasn't been in trouble much this this pass rush really hasn't done much for Colorado and the run game is what has worked in the second half. TCU has run the ball for 188 yards in the second half alone. 10 per carry, Gus. 
And if they go away from that here, that's actually playing into Colorado's hands. Second down and 10 of the 21. Morris under pressure. Delivers incomplete. That'll bring up third down. Looks like Colorado, Joel, and correct me if I'm wrong, they're changing up the defense a little bit, getting a little pressure on Chandler Morris. Trying to create some pressure, something so that it changes his timing in the pocket. But mainly, it's just that man coverage. And on these big third downs, what we've had from Charles Kelly, the defensive coordinator, is man coverage, and you get crossing routes from these TCU wide receivers. Big one here for both teams. Third down, 10 at the 21. Chandler Morris steps up in the pocket, delivers. It's caught. First down. Jared Wiley, the tight end. He's made some timely catches today. That's a gain of 12 on third and 10. And a smart throw from Morris. Everybody dropped back. Eight guys back as defensive backs, and he was fighting for those extra yards and gets it and moves the chains. First down at the 33-yard line. Morris again fires deep. Incomplete. He was looking for Dalen Wright. You know, Morris is very accurate in the intermediate zones, but what we've seen so far today, he doesn't have the deep ball accuracy that certainly we saw from Duggan a year ago or what Shan Sanders has shown on the other side. Where they're at their best is when they're in the crossing routes and they're throwing the ball over the middle, 10, 15 yards down the field to their slot players and their tight ends. Second down and 10, 3.30 remaining. And Gus, they should not abandon the run game. That's what has worked for them most successfully here in the second half. Trent Battle in the backfield. Here's Morris. He'll throw it with time. Sideline. Battle breaks a tackle and picks up a first down. Great job by Trent Battle, the Richard sophomore. Got away from Kari Manns. What a terrific job of fighting through the contact and staying on his feet. First down, Morris over the middle, incomplete. That one thrown high. Dangerous pass. Brings up second down and 10. These first downs, they, they should be running the ball on first down. I know I keep harping on it, but if they're not going to, they've got to get those slot players involved. The guys that have been most dangerous are guys like J.P. Richardson, Daylon Wright, as well as what we've seen out of Jalen Robinson. TCU. 188 rushing yards this half. Now they'll go on the ground, and it's Battle. Battle gets tripped up. Jordan, Dominic. That's a one-yard gain. Clock continues to run. And now a third down and a big one here, and we'll see what Colorado does defensively. Kendall Bryles. Right now, he has made a living on third down with these crossing routes out of their slot receivers. Morris, sideline, caught. Is it enough for the first? That's the question. Let's see where they mark the ball, and it is a first down. Beautiful route on the outside by J.P. Richardson. This is a choice route from Richardson. He can go inside or outside. You see, he just stays outside where there's some grass, catches, spins, and gets the line to gain. First down at the 44. And it's Sanders who has three touchdowns today, gains one. Now you're wondering if Colorado, excuse me, if TCU is slowing things down. Yeah, a bit. exactly. And you got to wonder, like, when does Colorado feel like they need to start calling some timeouts? Now, they're not in real field goal range yet. So if you're Coach Prime, you got to think, okay, i got to allow my defense to try to get a stop. But as they get inside of the 40 or the 35, you might start seeing some timeouts. Second down and nine. Great defense by the Buffaloes. This time it's Harris just jumping on the running back. Well, all of that about the quality running game, I was dead wrong because Colorado comes up and makes a couple of great stops here. And now another third down. Third down and nine at the 43. Clock running. Here's Morris over the middle. Threw it behind his target. Savion Williams, and that brings up a huge... Fourth down and nine. 
with a minute and four remaining. Does Colorado go with that man defense on the outside? Bunch formation, Gus, that usually means they're crossing here. Here's Morris. In trouble. Let's it go. Caught. And not enough for the first down on fourth down. The Colorado defense holds. What a tackle by Miles Slusher. Jared Wiley, the tight end, had it. Unbelievable. Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, 55 seconds away. They're getting it on the outside and hoping that a one-on-one -on -one matchup can get the line to gain. Good defense in the interior. Morris got pressured, had to get rid of it. And the tackle in a one-on-one -on -one situation. That is unbelievable. They said Deion Sanders didn't know what he was doing. He was shipping guys out. His critics, coaches all over the country saying that this was not the right way to build a team. They'll run it. Wilkerson gains five. Two timeouts left for TCU. A team that played in the national championship one season ago. Losing to Georgia. Dismantling Michigan. Deion Sanders comes from Jackson State. A black college in the SWAC where he dominated. An American icon, folks. Forty-eight seconds away from scoring a huge win in a game that everybody that loves college football was interested in watching. His son, Shadur Sanders, has had a record-breaking day. He's thrown for over 500 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. One timeout left for TCU. Here's a handoff. Wilkerson. Ball security important. Horn Frogs will call another timeout. Stopping the clock at 44. They cannot do it again. Two players with 100 receiving yard games last season. Today, four. He said the Louie was coming. But you got to have someone to pack the luggage. And that was Shador Sanders. This guy played unbelievable today. First, Gus, it was his intellect. His ability to know where to go with the football at all times. The ball always went to the right spot. Then it was his talent and the accuracy, the ability to throw the ball down the field. Shador Sanders is one of the best quarterbacks I've ever seen wear that uniform, or this certainly was one of the best games I've ever seen out of that uniform, and I've seen almost all of them. Take a few seconds here. They'll run it. Stay in bounds. As Wilkerson runs out of bounds, and stops the clock at 36 seconds. It's it's listen, that's a mistake, but it's a first down, and now he can just take a knee. So yes, he shouldn't have run out, but at least he had the first down, and they can sit there and, and take a knee, Gus. So Shadur will kneel on this one, and the buffs are gonna go one and oh. 45 42, Shadur Sanders takes a knee, and how about this? Prime time. Dia wins his first one on the road against a team that played in the national championship one year ago. 45 42. Colorado. His son leading the way. Shadur Sanders. And I got a feeling we're going to hear some Maybach music after this.
Those of you who thought it was a gimmick, it ain't a gimmick now. No, sir. Next week, Nebraska at home. 45 to 42. Deion Sanders told us yesterday. He said, the one thing I guarantee is that my team will play with effort. And that they did. What we didn't know is about the execution. And they executed, certainly on offense. And boy, they played smart in big moments. And our Jenny Taft is down with Coach Prime. Coach Prime, it doesn't get much better than this. You said all along, we come in, this team is here. And wow, did you impress. How proud are you? Thank you, Jesus. I'm so thankful right now. My son, man. My pop right here. My son, my other son. Yeah. Man, I'm loving these kids. Rick George for giving me this opportunity, man. This is a blessing. Everybody, Buff Nation, who supported us in all the hood that had my back. I thank y'all. God, this is good. Woo! What can you tell me about your defense and the way they came up huge with that stop to get they, this win? They surrendered some big plays throughout the game, and we all we kept teaching was just we need one stop, one stop. But what about the offense? How did they respond? How did these guys respond? I don't know how many snaps he played, but we're going to put a hot tub on the plane for him to make sure he's straight. Hey, we're excited because we are heading to visit your home next week, Folsom Field. What is your message to the fans of what we can expect from Colorado? We told you we're coming. We told you we're coming. You thought we were joking. And guess what? We keep receipts. God bless you, America. Ooh, God is good. Congratulations. I want to hear from you guys. Tell me about your dad, about playing for him, and what you guys just accomplished today, Shiloh. Uh, just like he said, we just believe everything he taught us. We went out there and executed everything. He telling us every damn practice. He put us in those situations in practice, and we've been able to practice and critique that. And so now we just show the fans what we got. Shador, you set records today, over 500 yards. I mean, you made it look easy, and you told me you were ready to capitalize on this moment. How would you describe it? Man, it's a real feeling because we knew it the whole time. I'm practicing against the best corner in the world. You know, so my margin of error, error versus him is very small. I can't, I can't miss too far inside, too far outside, because he's going to make a play. But it's just like nobody believed in us, man, and it, it just showed me a lot about how people is. And they let names and they let power five and stuff get to their head. I think this the highest passing yards I had in my life. I was just at HBCU, you know what hey, I mean? So they ain't believe it, bro. Who did? They ain't believe it, you know what I mean? But did. God did, you know what I'm saying? God Travis, you said you were going to follow Coach Prime wherever he was going to go, and he yeah. could not say enough about you and your skill. How do you do it, play on both sides and make it look easy? Hey, I just believe. I mean, I've been playing football since I was four years old. My dad and my mom stayed on me. My dad was at every game getting on me, so I just believed in what they taught me when I was younger and just came up with it. Are you tired right now? No, nah, I'm not tired. I'm ready to go back again. Okay, congratulations, right. you guys. Uh, we got another one. Uh, Dylan? <laughs> Dylan, congratulations. I mean, unbelievable performance, those touchdowns. And Coach Prime told us that you were going to be special today just to wait for your moment. How would you describe this one and this performance for you? I mean, I'm blessed. I'm glad I came here. Everybody executed their plays. Yeah, we had mistakes, but we came out here and did our thing, and we on to next week. On to next week. What should the fan base know about you guys? We are coming to visit you in Boulder. That we coming. I feel like today was, you know, a proven point that we can do this and we will do this and we can't wait till next week. Congratulations. Go enjoy it. Thank you. All right, Jenny. Thank you very much. Joel, your final thoughts on this one. What a win for Colorado. What a win for Coach Prime. Today, the time for talking was over. It was put up or shut up, and they put up a huge victory. Final score, 45-42, Colorado. Coming up next on Fox, Rice in Texas. Harper and the Phillies battle Yelich and the Bruins, or the Twins take on the Rangers. It's Baseball Night in America, tonight on Fox. Who's reached peak fall? The DQ Fall Blizzard menu? Snickerdoodle cookie dough pumpkin pie? They're back. Plaid. Cardigan. Ooh, all that and fuzzy boots. They did it. Too much fall? Nah, peak fall achieved. DQ, happy tastes good. I went to Angie and typed in pool. Water heater. Cleaners. Garage. Interior painting. Exterior painting. For whatever project you need, there's an option. Oh, I have another project. Let me try this. Get started at Angie.com today. On season six of Fansville by Dr. Pepper, things are heating up. Mom, Dad, 
I have a girlfriend, and she likes college football. The stars have arrived. I've made my choice. This season, I will be drinking Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream. And everyone wants a taste of fame. Welcome back to Chuck's Take, because every fan needs a podcast. To get a thick color, I use two coats of maroon. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. I love your nails. Thank you. Hey, how's it going? Good. What's with the sandwich names? Oh, they're just nods to my time in the Army. Oh, but what's the Steven named after? Steven is from Navy Federal Credit Union. They've been helping with my finances since I enlisted. You want another Steven, Steven? Keep them coming, Hannah. <laughs> OK. Maybe someday I could get a sandwich named after me. <laughs> no. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Who's reached peak fall? The DQ Fall Blizzard menu? Snickerdoodle cookie dough pumpkin pie? They're back! Cloud. Cardigan. Ooh, all that and fuzzy boots. They did it. Too much fall? Nah, peak fall achieved. DQ, happy tastes good. You said close your eyes, don't look down. Fall into me. I'll catch you, darling. We'll dance in the street like nobody's watching. It's just you and me. And the song of Celebrate every kiss. Get zero down special financing with the K Jewelers credit card. One of you is about to realize the American dream. Doing great, ladies. Let's go, Red. Here we go. Come on, boys. Let's do it. Winning Hell's Kitchen is the American dream. This fall. Lobsters raw, 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 raw. An intense new season. Disgusting. If this was a fight, everybody would be knocked out. Get out! Where true colors will shine. What planet are you on? America! Hell's Kitchen premieres September 28th on Fox. Operation Wonder Park is a go! There's nothing more powerful than imagination. Honey, have you seen my cell phone? But don't just imagine. My park came to life? Ooh, a plot twist. You stem to build. Ta -da! Create. She did it. And change the world. Who's with me? I'm more of a two feet on the ground kind of guy. No, 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 no. Oh, it's gonna hurt tomorrow. If she can stem, so can you. Find out more at She Can Stem. In Colorado, defeat TCU, a massive upset in college football. With Allison Williams downstairs, Brock Hewer, Jason Benetti, our entire crew. Rice got a stop of Texas on a fourth down in Texas's territory, then kicked a field goal on the ensuing possession. We're awaiting word right now on an instant replay review of a call of a catch from Xavier Worthy of the Longhorns on their second drive. Pretty impeccable catch. <laughs> The ball bounces just about everywhere, but on the ground, he uses his legs to ultimately bring it in. He's looking at the big screen. You see the early contact, the ball's gonna come loose. But it never hits the ground. I've seen a lot of wide receiver drills, Benetti. I've not <laughs> seen that one. That is pure athleticism, instincts, and heads up from Worthy, who's been very involved in this first quarter. Yeah, he's got three catches on the last four plays. The Big 12 Offensive Freshman of the Year two years ago. Here comes the call from our referee, Tuta Salam. Are you yeah. telling me the Buffaloes arrived? I think so. They're not just coming? Mm -mm. Wow, that's huge. <laughs> right out of the